Hey, love bugs, what's up? I hope you're having a good morning, noon, night, whenever this video may reach you. Do your girl a favor and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get that thing, thing, thing whenever I upload a new video. So, <laughs> today, 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 we are going to be talking about all of the speculation surrounding Storm Monroe's sexuality. So this is not something new that has been going on, but it has really been highlighted for me personally these past like couple of weeks because people have been making videos about me, newer, newer people, not even just the old bunch. Like I just fully watched a video that was made like maybe uh, two or three days ago about me and someone was, you know, basically saying I was a red flag based on my content because y'all know I'm all about hypergamy. I'm all about leveling up. I'm all about, you know, women knowing their worth and only dealing with guys that could provide. I've also made a video that said that I like simps according to what they call simps these days. I made videos saying that it's a sassy man apocalypse. So people were calling themselves, you know, trying to call me out saying, oh, hey, you're dealing with such and such type of guy. So who are you to say so-and-so? And you're a hypocrite and you're a red flag. And, you know, um, posting newer videos that, like, I'm continuously getting all of these weird, random comments that has absolutely nothing to do with the content. And once again, it's okay. Like, I'm not super mad because people are you know, speculating or saying what it is that they're saying. I'm just a, a little, I'm a tad bit confused why this is such a heavy, heavy topic or why in my personal comment section, am I being flooded with comments about this man's sexuality, his sexual orientation, his sexual preferences? Like, I'm just really confused. There is this um, quote that's by Puello Colo. I think that's how you pronounce it, but he's written one of my favorite books called The Alchemist. And he pretty much said like, what you think of me has nothing to do with me and everything to do with you. I don't know if I'm like, you know, saying the quote, like exactly how he said it, but in a nutshell, like what people ultimately think of you more than not, it's a projection of how they feel about themselves, you know? And I want to preface this video by saying I think that it is a beautiful thing for people to be themselves. It is the hardest thing to actually be your authentic self and to like shine bright like a diamond and to, you know, put yourself out here on this platform. It's really not easy. Like I'm still building, I'm growing, and I'm super excited at all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the Love Jones Show. Shouts out to my day ones, my love bugs. Y'all know we in it to win it. Um, I just want to say if you do choose your life, uh, choose to live your life in a certain way and you're true to yourself and that's authentically who you are, I think that that's amazing and that's beautiful. So I needed to say that because I don't want anyone to feel slighted by ho however this live is going to go or whatever it is that's going to be said. I don't need anybody to be offended. Like this is not me saying anything about any particular community. Like I'm not here to to judge anybody or to say, you know, a lifestyle is right or a lifestyle is wrong. However, what it is that I'm seeing continuously is the demonization of people that may be a part of the LGBTQ community. And it and it's and it's it's it, it's just mind-boggling to me because I thought that we were not doing that. I thought that we got canceled for doing what I see a lot of y'all up here doing. Like even in the video that I saw that the guy made about me, more so he was gearing it toward my particular brand of content that I make, you know, pertaining to like men, the man is real, red pill, drizzle drills, and all of the other things that I talk about. But he said something that stood out to me. He Because he thinks that Storm is, you know, has a certain orientation, he said, oh, if she tries to come back over here, she can't come back over here. Like how dare they content about, uh, the type of content I make, literally just saying women need to level up and like not allow a man to dog walk you and treat you terribly and don't go back and forth to the ghetto toxic circus. That's all I'm talking about. For this man to sit up here and say, oh, well, 
how dare she deal with a man like that? I'm not for sure. But from what I know or from what I think he's placed for the other team, he's across the street. Like he's a fucking a fruit loop. Like she can never come back on this side. It's like, yo, like how, how, what, since when is it okay for y'all to continuously try to bash someone for your perceived idea of what you think their sexuality is? Like, isn't that frowned upon? Don't you get canceled for that? Doesn't that make you homophobic? Like, I'm just really confused. And me saying all of this is not me saying that storm is that way i'm just saying the way that y'all are carrying on like if he was then all of y'all need to take a deep look in the mirror and really really think about your internalized hatred for people that you think are gay or bisexual because that's what is given like seriously and it's not even like y'all are saying it in jest like no people are saying it with their whole entire chest as if they know him or as if they know me like as if we have personal conversations and then people are being so nasty to me like oh who are you you're nobody like i don't even know you like so bitch why are you in my comment section why are you even here saying anything like telling me i'm nobody and i think i'm important like what is going on i'm just like um i am somebody we're all special where I'm an, I'm anointed, I'm magical, I'm I'm me, and I will never let anybody try to make me feel bad about who I am or I I don't know. It's just very bizarro to me. So continuously getting um you know these these messages, these comments, and then like people just speculating over things. People sending me DMs with the speculation, you know, people just making videos. I'm just like, why does everybody care? Like, I really want to know, like, what is it to everyone, whether or not this man is a homosexual? And we're just going to say it blatantly. What is it to everyone, whether or not this man is a homosexual or whether or not this man is bisexual? Why the fuck do y'all care so bad? Like, I'm really, I want to know. So, with that being said, I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to open up the call lines, but we, we, you know, everybody's going to get the opportunity to come and speak their piece. If people are, uh, bold enough to hit the link, um, we're going to try to keep it at like maybe two or three minutes per caller, depending on how much people is calling in, you know? Um, but I, I just, I just needed to say that because I, I'm, I'm really confused. Like, so a little bit of backstory about me. For those of you who know me, my day ones, y'all already know that I've been, I was in a relationship. My high school sweetheart was a singer. He was an R&B pop singer. He was on tour with Chris Brown. He released an album in Japan. He was signed to Def Jam. Um, you know, like he, we, he, we, it was just lit the fuck up and he was alternative and people would question like what he was or, you know, and it was just because he was different. He was creative. He was Latin, a Latino and like a Afro Latino. His father was Panamanian and his mom was like Puerto Rican or whatever. But he, just because he was into fashion, you know, he was creative. He, I legit took his fucking virginity. He was not, I was, I probably shouldn't have even said that. If you're watching this, I don't mean to put your business out there. <laughs> oh my God. But I'm just talking and y'all know my intrusive thoughts be just fucking popping out sometimes. I, I work really hard to not police myself as much when I'm doing my show because it allows me to be my authentic self. And that's how I'm winning. And that's how I'm going to continue to win. Although I did not mean to put his business out there. <laughs> oh God. But I was only saying that to say like, he and I were very, very close. Like we knew each other legit since we were like 14, 15 years old. Like I knew him for so long, you know, and we were like Velcro, like, but people, there was so people was, it was just a lot of rumors and speculation. So this is not something that is new to me. People would say that I was a tranny. Like they would see pictures of me in my crazy outfits and there was just always speculation. So I'm not new to this. I'm just new to it on the internet. Like I'm used to like not Monica. Oh, <laughs> I'm just used to it in real life. Like I've always been the center of attention. I've always been a main character. People have always had rumors about me. People have always talked about me. Like I've always been popular, you know, I've always been out there like in real life. And now I'm on the internet and it's starting to be a lot. And like with my ex, like it used to bother him a little bit, but then he would be like, I don't care. Like, and it would bother me more, you know, but 
I could tell that it affected him because at the end of the day, like we're all human, you know? So for people to continuously like say these things, like to talk about people's appearance, to talk about people's weight, to call people queens, to misgender people, to talk about people's sexuality continuously, like that's disgusting. If a person tells you, hey, I'm not this way, who the fuck are you to demand that they affirm whatever it is that you perceive to be true. That's weird and it's bizarro. And y'all really need to check yourselves. Like you cannot force a person into a box that you created just to make yourself feel better. If I tell you, you know, I'm from Brooklyn, you can't say, oh no, you you talk like you from Dade County. You look, you, uh uh, you from Florida. Who, like, y'all really is, it's ridiculous. And then, like, to try to shame someone with these ideas that you have it goes to show that you think that it's not good. You think it's bad, especially when I see a lot of the gay, the, the, the guys that like to suck dick that be in the comments, like talking all of the shit. It's like, yo, bro, you're, you're basically saying that your lifestyle is not okay. Because how do you shame someone for a lifestyle choice that you wake up in and, and that you partake in every single day of your life, but yet you're trying to shame somebody. And then if you're saying, oh, you're this way, you're this way, just be living your truth. Isn't that also trying to force somebody out of some whatever perceived closet you think that they're in? How is that okay? I It's just like a y'all a bunch of fucking hypocrites and it's really disgusting. It really truly is. Like, honestly, I'm just like, it's ridiculous at this point. It really is. It's just ridiculous. And I, and, and like I said, like, I just keep getting these messages, the DMs, the emails, like people be saying a bunch of making videos and I'm like, yo, like, and I don't give a fuck a bitch, uh, whoever's watching y'all can say I'm windmilling. I got my combat boots on, whatever it is that y'all like to say, I don't care. I'm really curious about this because I, like I said, I've experienced something similar in real life with my my you know my artist singing x but on the internet like it's just crazy because y'all are able to hide behind a keyboard you know so y'all if y'all seen us in real life you probably would fan out and try to take a picture like you would not be as so bold as to come up to a person and say oh i thought you was this or i thought you was that like it's just like crazy but once again like i just I don't know. So I'm going to open up the call lines and everybody like keep it cute. You know, like let's do a two to three minute. We're going to let you get your point across and um, I'm going to let people talk. We're going to see what y'all got to say about this and we're going to do it, you know, individuals. And then maybe at the end we'll do, um, maybe I'll do like a panel, you know, like how we, we usually do it, like toward the end of the show or whatever the case may be. But Honestly, it's just, I just want to know why does everybody care? Like, why is there so much speculation surrounding someone's sexuality like that you, that you have absolutely no, nothing to do with? Like, you're not sleeping with him. Like, what's it to you? Is he fucking you? Like, he's not fucking you. So why should you care? And how y'all doing? Shouts out to y'all. Make sure y'all paying the entry fee to my house. Y'all already know it's free 99. All you got to do is hit the like button for me. Period. Um, Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like button. Because why is it these itty bitty likes and all of y'all is up in here watching? Hit the like button. Uh, I finally saw Party City Wigs page. Oh, God. Come for me. <laughs> I see why you call that. <laughs> Swing kick. Um, Do it as you must. Who's going to check you? Boo, we got your back. Yeah, period. Yes, she is Monica P. That's why she's my homegirl in my mind. I do feel her in real life. Like I said before, she's my homegirl. Y'all my y'all is my fucking everything. Y'all is my day one. Y'all already know. Um Love Jones, I'm not an OG love bug, but I've been a love bug for a while. And I do want to say that you're so relatable. I don't care about what people say about you Stone. Thank you, Ash. Haters gonna hate, especially when you're pretty. Thank you, Kanisha. Not <laughs> like honestly, I just you know, I'm I'm just I don't I I'm I like I I get I get it. Like when you're a public figure and you put yourself out there, but what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Like what does that have to do with 
your work ethic or what type of content it is that you're doing. I just don't get it. Hey, not my party city wigs. <laughs> you knew I was coming. <laughs> you knew I was coming. When you put up this damn link, you knew, you said to yourself, I know he about to come up here and cuss this bitch out. So let me go ahead and drop this link. I knew you knew that. You Everybody knew I was coming. That is hilarious. What's up? Well, after I had to take a mental break, you know, uh, for the past few days, uh, after, you know, what happened Wednesday, you know, uh, with them $7, because um, <laughs> they really... <laughs> They they, they they put me through a lot that night. Um, you know, with the whole Jodeci and um, yeah, that was um, that was yeah. That was crazy. But then you know, I just don't know what to say about this Grinch looking party city wearing wearing ass bitch. You know, I didn't cuss this bitch out in her comments. You know, I understand <laughs> how her coochie is. Is oh. a fucking graveyard for demons, but um, I really don't understand. Like I keep telling y'all, it's niggas that's doing this. It's not white folks in the comments saying, mm -hmm. wondering and pondering and sliding down shower walls and losing sleep and stuffing pillowcases over their head, jumping off cliffs. It's niggas that's doing this. Hold on, boo. let me see this. Sheena said, it's unfortunate that your ex and people similar face that, but there are a lot of men that lie about their sexuality and actually being at lifestyle. I have seen many situations like that. This is true. Nobody is saying that that's not true. But if someone is continuously telling you that they're not, who are you to judge whether or not they're lying? You know what I mean? Like if something is going to come to light then it will naturally come to light, but you cannot just continuously try to push a narrative on a person if they're telling you Hey, that's not my lifestyle. That's not what I'm into. It's been so long that a person could keep up a facade. You cannot keep up a fucking facade for that long, especially when you're in the public. Like, I don't know. People do lie. People are on the DL. That is absolutely a thing. But if a person is saying, hey, I'm not like this, then why not leave it the fuck alone and move on? But go ahead. But yeah, oh, hey, Quisha, but I see somebody named the uh the cookie the cookie cutter monster. She's uh like I she's telling you the same thing I've been telling you. Uh when you came into the picture, everybody got pissed off. Hold on, what's that? Oh, I thought I was about to sneeze. But uh when you came into the picture, everybody was pressed because like who the fuck is this fucking whore coming up here ruining our motherfucking uh, 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 lie about Storm being fucking gay. Who is this bitch? She gotta go. We gotta get this bitch. She gonna have to pay for this shit. And ever since you came out here, and ever since you kissed him, the motherfucking people been on your ass. And I told you, Love Jones, I, I have to tell you again, in February, I told you this is gonna get worse if you link up with this man again. I said, Love Jones, that party city weird ass bitch is going to lose her shit. Them demons in her coochie already made their way to her brain. She's possessed by the coochie demons. Oh god. And, they, and she now this bitch is making a seven part fucking documentary series on y'all. She's losing her mind. She adopted a damn dog off the street. The dog is trying to escape the apartment because it smells like piss in there. And the dog is trying to escape, and she won't let the dog escape. Uh, uh, uh. She's losing her fucking mind, love. And I, I told you this was going to happen. <laughs> but they're really <laughs> doing this. Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm just like, it's just a lot. Cookie Monster said it might not even be that the audience is mad about you, LJ. The audience might just not be convinced that he isn't gay. But who the fuck is they that need to be convinced? Like, that's my thing. You yes. should not be this heavily invested in who Storm is fucking. It, you should be more heavily invested in the fact that half the people out here that's bashing him are single mothers who baby daddy pumped and dumped them outside of 7-Eleven and fucked them, got them pregnant. They're 30 years old with five kids 
Oh. And not one of their baby daddies is paying child support. They got to depend on food stamps and they got to sell food stamps and pussy to pay bills. Oh. You just have to do out here are on the DL, they motherfucking self, and they're not happy because they got to go home and, 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 and fuck on women that they don't want. They got to take Viagra to get their dick hard so they can Ooh. fuck these women, get honey packs from the gas station. Then they buy all the fucking honey packs. Just to get their dick hard because they're not attracted to women and they can't get it up. So they got a honey pack the fuck out they self. Oh. Viagra the fuck out they self to dig down these women who they don't want because they the they, they one true love is their best friend. Mm. And they can't be with their best friend because they know once once a man comes out as gay, you might as well that's like the kiss of death. Mm-hmm. And they know that, so they have to sit there and bash Storm because he ain't got no baby moms. He ain't got no criminal record and none of this bullshit. Now, if he came on, Storm came to you and baby mama the fuck out of you, went upside your motherfucking head, uh, beat, beat your ass Chris Brown style, everybody would be applauding him. Oh, wait. Everybody would be... My, a party city, Gloria said, why are we shitting on single mothers, dear God? Who's shitting on sick single mothers? That's what she just I'm, just I'm just saying half the women out here. See, see, that's what you hit dogs and stuff holler. Because why the fuck is you the only person in the comment section press? Back to what the fuck I was saying in a fucking way. See, I, See, see, love dog. I, I see. Why do I gotta come up here and have to cuss somebody out? I, 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 hey, this, this is how we gotta do it because when you we talk, you know, people they they they're listening to us. So sometimes when you on a platform, you gotta clarify what you're saying. You know, they be coming for me too. Like, why you said this this way? Why you said that? Sometimes we don't even mean it that way, and people take things out of context. But what I'm saying is I wasn't dragging single mothers. I'm saying half the people in the comments need to worry about themselves. Mm-hmm. Half of y'all baby daddies are gay and knocked y'all up and left y'all. And when I say that, that you made y'all single mothers, I didn't mean it as a dick. I'm just saying that half y'all baby daddies are gay. And it is what it is. They got mm-hmm. y'all pregnant because they want to save face because they truly believe in their head that if I'm a father of a child that I don't even have to take fucking care of. I'm not gay. And they really do believe that in their head that that is something that can possibly ungayify them is by having a kid with a woman. And half the time, y'all got to raise your kids by your goddamn self. Hell, y'all be baby mom the fuck out by single men or uh, by straight men. So what the fuck? Any fucking way. Back what the fuck I was saying. Because I don't know who the fuck. <sighs> it's all right. God damn. <laughs> It's Any different. fucking ways, but it's like I truly feel like this has to be something done about this. I don't report this bitch. I don't call the police on her wig. I don't did everything I could to get this whore off the goddamn interwebs. Oh I didn't got did I did I didn't did everything, Love Jones. I did it. Like I reported her page. Don't recommend channel. I literally called the police on her I wig. I called a priest. I, I called some pastors. I called some pastors to come and do holy water on her coochie, and and, and, and to try to get them demons out of there. Because I know she spent her, her life since the age of five years old being scrapped to a table, getting fucked by Freemasons. And uh, the nature boy was out here shoving herbs and shit in her coochie. Oh, Lord. So Jeez. I'm just, I done did everything I could. But I truly feel like some at some point, you're going to have to do what Storm did. Not the whole more. Beyonce. You can't be out. Mm-hmm. Well, you can anoint him, but you're going to have to, like, he got the authorities involved. I feel like at some point you're going to have to do that because beyond saying a weird bitch, like, okay, it's like three levels to a troll. Mm -hmm. Trolls are like the little trolls you get in your comment section. They come, they talk shit, but they're not, you know, the the, the shit talking trolls, they're not in every live, but they are coming. They say some shit and then they dip out. 
Then you have the second level trolls that you that take things a little bit too far and you block them. But after you block them, they'll you know leave you the fuck alone. They won't come the fuck back. Then you got the level three trolls like <laughs> the part of city wearing ass bitch. Now with the part three level three trolls, they live and feed for your attention. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they're going to do things more and more and more foolish and outlandish to get your attention. They're going to say things. I mean, just look at the Burger King. This man that saw here, Storm would not give him any attention for damn near three years. And he, the lies got so worse. They stole this man's fucking car. Held it for ransom to literally force him to come out the closet. They stole his fucking car and told him the only way you could get it back if you come out the goddamn closet. That lets you know the motherfuckers is crazy. That's it's they a lot. Stole his, that was a lot of it, they, Yes, love Jones. I'm telling you, they stalked his friends, threatened to murder the, his friends' family, unless the friends come out and say they was fucking storm. They accused Storm of going to North Carolina where his one of his friends at to do witchcraft and fuck and do gay shit and, and all the type of shit. It was to the point Storm had to get laws involved, is when they hired them private investigators. And you remember they had all them pictures of him outside of Dollar General? Oh. And uh when he yeah, that's when Storm finally called the police and, and, and they backed the fuck off. And I feel like that's what you're going to have to do with this bitch is because she's your Burger King guy. Like, she's not going to fucking leave you alone. You can make it. We could get on his pla your platform and cuss this party city wing wearing that bitch out. And believe me, I love cussing the bitch out. I, I, I think the bitch need help. Oh God! I I tried looking at that goddamn video of that bitch at Love Jones. I don't know if you've seen it, but the part to the wig was falling off the side of her goddamn head. <laughs> I said, "You could at least, you could at least put this wig." Who the fuck is this? Who the f see? You see this? Is the shit I'm talking about. Look at the comments. Some bitch named Derek Langford is talking. I'm about to see this. Get the fuck out the chat, bitch. I can st to talk whatever the fuck I gotta just talk about, bitch, you stupid ass hoe. Oh, God. You just probably on top of a dick right now, you bitch. Don't ever come over here talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Y'all is crazy as hell. But what I don't understand is this every time I get on this live, you already had the other chick that came on here talking about I'm bashing baby mamas, and now this dude over here being weird talking about some sassy. Your mama fucking sassy, bitch. When she gave birth to your motherfucking ass after she conceived you in that 1985 Chevrolet Impala with a broke down ass transmission when she, she got fucked in the back seat of that goddamn... Oh, no. Chevrolet Impala, bitch. That's who fucking sass and your daddy left your ass to go be with a fucking white woman, you hoe. Now back what to the fuck I was saying. Oh my god. <laughs> now oh what the god. fuck was I saying? Cause I gotta cuss a bitch out every five seconds. It looked like. What uh, was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, um, what is people and, and get your goddamn points across? Cause these people is just looky loos. God damn! What, what, what the fuck I was? I got that little just. I'm serious. I forgot what the fuck I was talking about because I, I was cussing this. Uh, that you think I'm gonna have to take legal action, which I don't think is that far yet. Like I'm not getting. Let me knock on wood. I'm not getting like stalked and harassed in real life. You know, and and I think like y'all be saying and we all say majority of her gripe seems to be with Storm and I. She just keep throwing me in there. But lying like she don't like that's the shit that be getting on my fucking nerves. Like, bitch, you got me in your mix too. Put me in your titles. Okay, uh, Derek and Skywalker, why don't y'all hit the link so I can come cuss y'all ass out properly? How about that? Hit the hit the link. Y'all in the comment section talking shit. Hit the link. Uh, uh, Gloria R. Uh, 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 whatever the other people is, Skywalker and Derek. Hit the link. Y'all got so much shit to say in the comments. Hit the link. 
so I can cuss y'all ass out properly. Doing that right Please now. Please hit me. Uh-uh. We're not going to cuss people out right now. We're not going to do that. But I don't... Um, and we'll do a panel. But I don't understand why they keep coming for me, Love Jones. I didn't. I'm literally not doing. I'm up here cussing okay, out this party to the weird ass bitch. Um, be nice in my comment section, okay? If you cannot keep it cute, then y'all can leave. All right. Be be respectful. Everybody's being respectful, except for to the people that keep fucking coming for me and like legit talking shit. But other than that, be respectful in the chat, okay? Well, go ahead. Okay. Please. Yes, ma'am. Let me go ahead and finish so I can go ahead and not have to, you know, get your video not monetized because I didn't call these people all type of bitches and hoes in your comment section. But I do feel like you're going to have to at some point because the lies is getting worse. She has slept shame you. She has. I haven't been coming for you since 1995. Oh I don't even fucking know you. Yeah. Ignore these people. These people is just saying they ain't saying that. De I'm gonna have to time you out if y'all gonna keep going on and on. We don't got time for this. Hey, hey I think that's the, the, the dudes with them seven dollars, y'all. That's who the fuck it is. It's them dudes with them seven dollars. You know they got about five accounts. I just timed them out because I, I don't got time. To, to okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna look at the comments. I asked the comments out, but anyways. You're going to have to do it at some point, Lord Jones, because this woman is lying on you. She slut shamed you. She's making up narratives in her head and she's defaming you guys. She's saying that you guys are practicing witchcraft. Y'all sacrificing people. Y'all doing all type of things. And believe it or not, a lot of people who don't have discernment, who don't have common sense will believe these lies about you guys. Look at what Card Tosh K did to Cardi B. Tasha K said that Cardi B had herpes. People bashed that woman all in her comments without even having proof that that woman had herpes. So that's what I'm saying. And now she's saying that you have something going on with your throat. You got holes in your throat and, and all this type of stuff. I guess she's trying to say you got some type of throat disease, which mm -hmm. I don't think that's cool. Like, why would you sit there? And this is black a black woman doing this. She didn't that, come out with every, huh? I said that shit ain't cool at all. And that's what I'm saying. She basically violates all type of HIPAA laws because you're not supposed to even be doing that. But the fact that she is doing this and she's not saying allegedly, she's just sitting up there and just saying all types of bullshit at the side of her neck and has dedicated her channel to y'all. She has dedicated the past seven months to people who she claimed is unimportant. She don't care about, but she has dedicated her life, dedicate biopics, dedicate documentary series on two people claiming that she's going to expose y'all. But the question is, what is she exposing except for her lays? <laughs> I don't know what she exposing. It's that part for me because there's nothing else to fucking expose. Like, what is going on? I and now I, she... I, yeah, go ahead. No, I, so Queen Keisha Storm doesn't even respond and pay no mind. He don't. We actually was on live for five hours yesterday and he said a mouthful. I think he, he be saying what he need to say. He just don't go on his platform and title it and talk about these people because for fucking what? That's what they want. That's all they want. But at the end of the day, Love Jones, I fear like, and this is why I don't want you to go through because I understand that a lot of people might have tough skin, but I don't want you to go through what Storm went through. What Storm went through was fucking traumatic, even for people that had to watch. You know, the fact that he's still sane after being called uh, a child toucher, uh, a, a child underliver, that he was trying to touch on his mentor's kids that he was accused of basically drowning a newborn baby in a fucking bathtub which is yeah. insane wow. they accused him of using high level beyonce level witchcraft to unalive someone's cousin they have stalked his friends try to pay people to say that they were in gay relationships with this man stole his car 
sat here and basically doxed all of his this base everybody in his circle had their own fan well fan base or whatever you want to call them to stalk his friends stalk his friends sisters and their families and there is so much i can't even get into but it's like they're doing this and i don't want that to happen to you because you i generally like your content and i think you are a generous person a gen a gen god damn it a gen yeah y'all know what the fuck i'm about to say and i don't want that to happen to you because that will happen because the way the route they're going on because you already got people coming at you from all angles and as a i know for a fact as a black woman you're gonna get it 10 times worse because everybody loves beating the fuck up on a black woman you ain't lie about that and i know that it's gonna come because storm is a black man and all he has is a gay allegation and look how his life has been and you know I'm not lying because you've been here for the past year and a half and you've seen just briefly and you came in at the ass end of the hate train. And this I is know. What, and this is the gist. If you was here in 2020, you would probably lost your mind to seeing all that bullshit because it was so fucking bad. It was people saying that he was fucking pastors and abandoned oh the garages. I, I see. He, I some of that i caught a lot of that but i'm gonna bring you back up at the end i'm gonna take another call okay boo okay all right thank you for coming up all right hey boo hey boo hey love bugs let me silence. thanks for let being patient. hey boo how you doing honey are you okay I'm good. yeah i'm just trying to figure out what's going on like Girl, the book my, my comment section is going mm -hmm. real hard and it's over it like it's a video that has absolutely nothing to do with like anybody's sexuality or any fucking thing like i'm so confused confused girl they've been dying for that moment for you to start being seen so they could pop up with the bull ish <laughs> I'm, it don't matter what the video was <laughs> it's crazy. Like, what the hell? Girl, Patty AF. Ah. And, 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 I, I didn't watch the video. Of course, after it was talked about, I get a notification for Old Girl Joint. I'm not subscribed to that. I was subscribed to the, the other joint. I was confused. So is that a backup or did they take the other joint and she done made yet another one? Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, I see. Somebody sent that video to me. That's only how I seen it. Oh, of course, they gonna send you the bullshit. And Come I was on. like, what the hell? And then like people, she like legit was like, oh, you're not in this title. Like, bitch, am I, do I look blind? Like, are you trying to gaslight me? Like, what the fuck are we talking about? Like, are you dumb? <laughs> and then dumb. everybody's storm is so many different things okay. now, playing, now she, she called him a simp. like oh you glued yourself to the simp of the year and i'm gonna expose him like expose him for what simp yeah they, she called him a simp so he a simp i thought he, he was i thought he was homosexual i know this is what i'm saying i thought he was a beard you you sent for a beard? I'm no, he is sent. I, I just I don't I don't know. I am dazed and confused. She making me delirious. It's crazy out here. <sighs> and they still commenting on that little seven minute video. Yes, that's why I came and made this live because I'm like, this gotta be some type of sick joke. Like, what is going on? Yeah, they are yeah. going hard. No, don't report her because then the trolls will start reporting. Just mess with her ass. Anywho, so that's what they doing. That's what they doing. She's she done bounced back on making videos again. She and set this, up for a good little minute. This man made a video a couple days ago and he added me in it. I didn't even realize that. I saw the video yesterday. Not the Addy. Yeah. And then I looked at my mentions and I saw the video again and I just clicked it and I was like, let me look at this for a little bit. And I was watching it and he was basically saying, 
I'm a walking red flag and I'm, I got a video called Sassy Me in Apocalypse, but I'm dealing with somebody that's a, a play for the other team and I can't come back to black men after that if I wanted to and or just talking mad shit. I'm like, this is wild. Hold up. Buddy added you out. Mm hmm. Oh, it's he's bolder than a motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> so why he ain't hitting his link then? You bold I don't as shit, know. but he ain't that bold. It's a lot of people watching this right now. So. He added you though. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, I mean, she she seems she seems no. attractive. I don't know what her body looked like, but she looked like she attractive in the face or whatever. But her mindset is just not good. I'm like, this. How the fuck he you know your mindset? You've been watching from the bushes. <laughs> Yeah, he said that I'm bad for the for, for the community. <laughs> Here we go with that shit. Here we go. Yo, is that 777? Remember they were saying we was bad for the community? Yo, it's crazy. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> now, who said that's the problem with the um, community? Oh, Trick Daddy. They crazy. Yo, they tripping. And you know what? I'm not even mad. Like, I get it. Like, make your content. I just don't understand why. Like, I'm getting so many comments like, oh, who's going to tell her? Does she know? Oh, he's this. He's that. Like, oh, she's desperate. She can't be that thirsty. Anybody could see clear as day. Like, you saw the video, Mia. Was he fucking doing anything? So I was like, they act like I was like, yes, bitch. Yes. In the video. <laughs> They act like Storm was saying he's your manager and your realtor. Then no. we could come for him. What the fuck is like, they doing? The fuck? Well, like he was voguing down. Like, why are they talking about? Ow, 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 ow. Strike the pose. Least, like, in that video, it had nothing. We was not even touching each other. So I'm just so confused. Girl, I hope you got plans on making them mad this Virgo season. Oh, I cannot wait. They Make oh, them they hot, shorty. Sick of me. Make them hot, shorty. Thank back you for coming. I'm gonna I'm take the next call. No later. problem. Much love. I call back for the panel. Okay. If you do it. All right. All okay. right. Bye, love bugs. Hi, Luna. Hi, love Jones. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I can't complain right now. But one thing I can complain about. Why are these whores still bothering you? I just don't understand. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know, girl. It's crazy out here on these internet streets. Yes, chair. I, ju I actually just joined the live. So um, what's been going on? Like, I just don't understand why they just want to leave my baby and storm alone. I don't know. I don't know. Like, so did you see the video that we did? It was like a seven minute video, legit, with like us apartment hunting in, in, in Houston. And I've just been getting the nastiest comments on this video. And then like uh, making other videos, you know, it's just they just going so hard about like storm sexuality and how as always, yeah. How I don't know, how I'm stupid. Somebody called me a dumb bitch. They called me an idiot. Oh like, wow! Going in, like, what the fuck? Like, what is it giving? Like, do they? Uh, I just don't know. But I actually, I think I just caught a glimpse of. I still need to catch up on all your lives. I've been working a lot lately, so. But I definitely will check it. Check it out, but. It's like they can't come with the same rhetoric every time. It's either you being Storm's beard or something else. I don't get it. Like, you're so desperate. Yo, it be that part for me. Because at the end of the day, like, I'm not stupid. I have discernment. And if, then somebody was in a comment was like, oh, well, men be lying and they be on a DL. This is true. But how do you find out a man is on a DL? You don't find out until you fuck find out so if somebody's saying hey i'm not i don't play for this team i don't take dick i don't suck dick why who are you to not believe them and to try to force your own narrative on a person you know what i like, mean like what do they need to set up cameras everywhere <laughs> around you guys <laughs> like what is it <laughs> uh. <laughs> I but i bet you if y'all started only fans they'd be watching I guess that's the only that's the proof they need now at this point. I don't know. 
that's crazy. So it legit needs to be videos of us having sex for people to believe that he actually likes to have sex with women. I guess so. <laughs> that's wild. That, that is so crazy. Oh my god. But know. yeah. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed your uh, apartment hunting experience uh, as far as that goes, as far as the haters. It was good. And thank you for calling in, boo. All right. No problem. Love you. Love you, too. Have a good night. All right. You, too, love. Okay. Hey, Mal. What's up? Hello? <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm surprised you got another call in, show. I mean, what's going on? How, how you feeling? It's been a lot of drama going on these past couple of days on social media between YouTube and TikTok. It's been a lot. I'm not going to lie, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's what's to be expected. I mean, um, yeah, I do social commentary. I talk about people's business, so I get it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just a lot. But so you know what I was gonna to say too, because um, I don't know. I guess I always feel and I always feel this uh, draw to your content, you know. And that's why I've always try to reach out, especially when I feel like something is happening. You know what what happened at the beginning of the year, and you you know I text you. I mean not text you, but I um, reached out, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. But so that's what I was doing tonight. I'm like, well, what's going on with Miss Love Jones? You know what? For me, the bigger picture, I, I I don't I don't always understand YouTube. I really don't. So I always try to see in a bigger thing. And I know that you're spiritual. So do you, when things happen like this, do you ever, um, I'm not sure what kind of thing you use. I'm not sure if you do your car or whatever. Do you ever just sort of meditate and go, what is going on? Like, what is the message going on? Because I don't think it's about the people. I don't think that you um, having fun, building relationships with people on YouTube, whether it be men, women, or whoever collaborating. I don't know that, you know, I don't know that if that's the issue. I feel like something else is going on. And I don't think it's something that you have to change, really. I, I don't think it's you. I think it may be, uh, it may be the times we live in where people are getting really triggered by happy people, by people planning, looking at stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Because I think that, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. That's because that's, that's what I wanted to just bring to you tonight. Because I, I don't really want you to take what's going on too, too deep. I think that it's not really about you. I think it's it's something going on. And I would really ask you when you in your free time, whatever you do, because I do things, um, just call upon that and just say, well, what is the message going on here? You know, because, um, you know, you building relationships with people. What's the problem? And I also with the storm, with the storm, the question of the night, you know, about people thinking about storm sexuality. This is 2024. Whatever the man does or don't do is not really a shocker. We have so much going on in the, in the government. You know, mm -hmm. with really shocking, crazy things, P. Diddy and all this stuff. So, you know, that's shocking. It's kind of crazy to me that they would think um, that what people do in their bedroom and in a respectful, loving, playful, you know, way is a shocker. You know, maybe what they do in their bedroom may be disgusting. You know, maybe that's why they get triggered. You know, maybe, maybe they, maybe they have all, all type of problems in their bedrooms or whatever. I don't know, but um, sex is a beautiful thing. And whatever, whatever, whoever do it and what they do it with and whoever is their business. Um, I'm more interested in people's um, moral when it comes to the world. That's my, so that's why I go. But what people do in their bedroom, you and Storm, okay, I'll say this. You and Storm look look like you're having a lot of fun, you know? It looked like you have really cool. time together. That's what it looks like. And that's why, you know, whenever I, I've come up on your channel, I never really talk about it directly with like, because it's not really my business. It's not something I get, I stay up at night thinking about. And I think other people should take that lead. Come on, love. You come on. Look, thank, I, thank you for letting me say, because I don't really get too loose up here with you. But yeah, I don't sit up here. I don't think about nobody on YouTube like that. When I see you, I really don't. Come on, I thank you. Let's love, John. I'm sending you a big virtual hug. Yeah, I don't think about people on YouTube. Nobody. I've been on every many platforms i don't care if a person have two million or or one subscribe i'm not i don't and you know this in new york city we don't get down like that so um when i see uh you and love uh you and love when i see you and storm together i see a person i see you you know supporting each other if he treats you well and you treat him well what is the problem and you know i think that yeah you seem to have this sort of like modern um friendship connection that usually is is not really in the same city but obviously obviously there's a, there's respect level there there's some respect there there's some there's some celebrating when people when you're having a good time and if if he's out there supporting you when you're looking for apartments 
then I don't know what the triggering thing is. That's why I say it got to be something else. It got to be the moon and I, it got to be something deeper that's triggering people. Um, maybe it's fear too. Really, it may be people are very afraid right now in their own lives and they see somebody up here, a woman up here, you know, um, plan, planning her future, you know. And, um, and, you know, too, my girlfriend, she she was into political commentating and her channel got taken down. It was a smaller, beautiful channel. And because mm-hmm. she was so focused on Trump. she and So when you talk about the stuff, love, Joe, I'll be connecting with, I don't understand everything. And I'll be honest with you. But when you say I know as a black woman on YouTube, a black woman on YouTube, this she gets it the hardest on YouTube because I, mm-hmm. I have friends. So what you've gone through right now is unfortunate. And I, I hate I hate that. I hate that for all my sisters up here because y'all go through a lot. And, um, you know, it's just very, very unfair, really. I think Google and YouTube need to be held accountable for how certain uh, platforms get so um, overwhelmed with negative comments, you know. Because um, I see other people up here and they don't get it as hard as you, you're getting it tonight. So I don't know. I just think that it's crazy and um, keep on being happy, you know, and don't let the don't let the negativity. Don't take don't take it too seriously, because I don't think it's about you. I think it's something deeper going on. And, um, you know, eventually all the people who really loves what you're saying will just will flood everything and you won't see negative comments. And, you know, they won't show up again in, in your in, in your in your consciousness. I don't think I really don't think so. I think that they they I, I feel sorry for them. I think that they are very afraid and they trigger by people planning, planning a future, you know. That's what it seems like. You know, people, uh, Truth 7 7, why are you making the whole episode? Because why are you up in here worrying about what I'm making an episode about? It's mm-hmm. people like you that's continuously questioning this man's sexuality. And I didn't finish the title. I wanted to say, why does it matter? That's what I really want to say. Not just why, but like, why does it matter? And I have been getting bombarded with videos, DMs, and comments about being a beard, being stupid, being a dumb bitch, being an idiot, being blind, being desperate, being thirsty, not seeing, oh, you don't see, you can't see, are your eyes open? Like, what is wrong with you? Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a lot going on. So but can you're I? Gonna, you're going to get fucking blocked, bitch. See, this is why. I don't yeah. No, 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 that's okay. But can I, can I say this? What, what, what I think you see with, with Storm and people, what I think you see is a man who respects you probably, you know? I think that's what's happening where the people are saying, well, what, what she don't see, what's going on. But I think what's going on is, you, is you're vibrating with somebody who respects you. And I think that's just, just as simple as that. I don't think that, you know, that's what it is. You know, I, I was having a conversation with somebody recently about um, about sensitive men or what that kind of stuff. And I think at the end of the day, if you if you called into your life um, somebody who respects you, it is really bad what other people think about that. Mm hmm. It really don't. I think that what they they let them be confused, you know, and that's and I feel sorry for their confusion because I hope that when somebody shows up in their life that supports them, supports them the way that you know you you know it gets a good a good friendship or relationship the way you have, that they they know how to hold on to it. They didn't they, they know how to be open to it, you know. Maybe that's what they trigger about you. They they don't they don't understand this kind of you know connection that you have with storm they may not understand it, it may be like but what is that how did you, how did that happen i don't see that it, it takes time and work you know and they can get really angry with that which is weird and and that's something else that i'm gonna talk um i'm gonna touch on before i take the next call but thank you for coming and coming up i appreciate your energy always i'm listen i i when if i see you you know not in trouble because I, I know you never be in trouble but if i see something <laughs> I know you're not. You can you can handle yourself. But if I I, I just get called sometime to to reach out, do some do, do carry pigeons, a spoke signal somehow to say I'm I'm over here. You know I want to I want to come and just tell you it's okay. And um, it's I don't think it's yeah. They they they're getting triggered by your your collaboration, by the connection, by the respect. Yeah, maybe level. that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is because ultimately he and I never came out and really said anything like concrete about what the fuck we had going on with each other so i'm just so confused like <laughs> yeah just just you know what when you get a chance just think just think about it a little bit and you know because i know you, you're a spiritual woman and you know different tools and i'm sure you'll get the answers but um yeah i think that 
yeah, there's something going on. But listen, keep on, keep up the good work, and you know, you know, that's it. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Later. Yeah. So that was something else that I wanted to talk about. Is that like we never came out. Like I never said he and I don't really like. You don't know what the dynamic is so for people to be making it seem like like uh cookie master said i think the audience genuinely um is on wait i think the audience thinks what i think the audience thinks genuinely storm is on the dl so they think he shouldn't be messing with you someone who is seeking something serious it's like they don't believe storm is not gay so I will say you don't know what I'm seeking. You don't know what I got going on. And no one does. So whether or not all of this was true, right? Say he is gay or he on the DL. Now what? Then what? Then what? What is it to anybody? I'm just confused. What if he was by? What if I was okay with that? Even though I'm not, I don't want to be with nobody me and that's not what I'm into. But what if I was okay with that? The fact that y'all are going so hard is just like utterly fucking ridiculous. I wish I, I would have finished out the title the way I wanted it. I wanted to say, why does it matter? This is exactly me. Why does it matter? Oh, we think he's on the DL. Like, so what the fuck is it to you? If he is, if it comes out that he is on the DL, what is it? anybody not just you cookie monster but not just saying it's solely about you i know you're saying generally what you know people may speculate but i want to know what is it to these people if he was or if he was not alicia said what is he doing that's so gay to people this is what i don't get like the video that people are leaving all of these comments under we are not doing any like we're literally fucking walking looking at apartments like it's just fucking ridiculous what's up tony hey norris so i'm pretty much just socialized wing gay men on social media what that mean i don't get it um what i don't understand why do people care what goes on between the two of you is no one concerned if he's on a download as long as he not coming for you <laughs> it's not their business there are women that are okay with the man being bi, so either way, no one should be this obsessed with someone's sexuality. Yeah, I don't want to be with a bi man. I'm not into bi men, but there are women that are okay with that. Who cares? Let him live in his choice. Uh, people are just nosy, that's all. No, but these people are not just being nosy. They're saying it like they know for a fact, like they got the scoop, like they seen the videos, like they got... Like they know him in real life. And I'm like, I've even had to ask men that was saying this. I'm like, have you been with him? Did you suck his dick? Did he suck yours? Like, what is it giving? It's the fact that it's been pressed since the pandemic. I think people used to work with Storm started this mess. And now you have a bunch of minions continuing it years later. Um, weren't these the same butthurt that hetero women were refusing to date by men. Now they mad if he is potentially gay by and you, maybe his lady people are strange. I just need to put this out there. I don't, I'm not into bi men. I'm not into men that sleep with men. And y'all could do with that what you will. Innocent until proven guilty. I know you're not okay with that, Love Jones. I'm not. And then like people keep saying like, oh, it's like, Y'all are running with this DL narrative, right? So if a person is on the down low, how do you know until you know? So even if that was the case, which I don't believe that is, I don't personally believe he's on the down low. Even if he was on the down low, bitch, how do you find out somebody's on the down low? It has to, it, it, there's no way to find out until you find out. And there's niggas that look like 50 Cent, Jay Z motherfucking Busta Rhymes, motherfucking Method Man, that legit be on the down low that look like these men. And if not, are these men? Because I, I know people in the industry and I've had people tell me about men that y'all think are just fine and that y'all idolize. 
and they legit sleep with men. So gay does not have a look. It does not have a sound. It does not have a tone. It does not have a texture. It's 2024. There is no such thing as he look gay. He talk gay. He act gay. He dress gay. There's no such thing as that in 2024. Gay does not have a look. I'm sorry to burst y'all's bubble, but gay does not have a look. It doesn't. There's people that you would never think would sleep with a man that is fucking men in Central Park or in Prospect Park. It's men that you would never speculate would be with other men that's with other men. So y'all can't just get up here and be like, if you're not in that, if you're in that life, you will know. How? It, 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 you you will know if you're meeting up with the person and you're sleeping with them or if you see them sleeping with people. Because y'all just saying, oh, he sound like it. He talk like it. Like, what the fuck is there a sound in the talk? Like, what are we doing here? Because of, Nora said, people think I'm gay because of my speaking voice. So, Norris, are you are you gay? Like, am, is I hope you is that okay for me to ask you, Norris? Are you gay? Like, do you identify as that? Uh, people have hated on him from the beginning. Storm is who he is and has been very honest with us from the start. Everyone can feel the heat when you two are in the same room. Please, uh, people need to stop capping. Well, people saying that it's a lie and a scam that Todd set up. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, but once I log off YouTube, none of y'all take up space in my real life. These people only have YouTube to keep them alive and still breathe and like go outside and take a damn walk. That part, touch some grass. Why the fuck entertain this bullshit? Because I'm a content creator, Shan Crowder, and I can entertain whatever it is that I want to entertain. And if I'm continuously getting bombarded with comments, DMs, messages, and people making videos, then I can make a, a video on it too. If I'm being used for clickbait, somebody that I fuck with, is being used for clickbait, then I can use for clickbait. Yeah, you write me. I don't know how I don't know how it comes through. He sounds like a professional black man. That's it, that's all. He does not sound like he's hard. Um same here, Norris Tony. Don't let your the voice fool you. I love Coochie. <laughs> but you are willing to allow a woman to please you. But are you willing to allow a woman to please you? What are you are you asking me if I'm bisexual? Um I I've been with women before, but I don't I don't claim anything. Like I I have I don't want to be in a relationship with a woman. I don't be like, oh, I need some some vagina. Like that's not how that goes. But have I had experiences? Yes. But do I consider myself like playing for the other team? No. Um, they speak in diet. The speaking dialect is an old stereotype. Everyone identifies differently unless that person decides to say it and admit it, then people need to leave it alone. This is what I'm saying. And if y'all uh claiming that people are in a closet, isn't it disrespectful and low-key traumatic to try to force somebody out of a imaginary closet that you put them in? I walk every single day as everyone else should. I'm a 52 year old male and I used to be in this lifestyle and I know from experience. What do you know? You, you, it's okay. Um, I kissed a guy when I was 18 and I didn't like it. Oh, that's so cool that you're actually like being honest and you're even, was even comfortable enough to say that Norris. He's well educated and young who cares. Um, I actually don't think he is gay either. He could be bisexual, as others have said. Did you deal with studs or fems? Uh, <laughs> deal with, or I've had an experience. Thank you, Big Cuz 410. <laughs> um, block me, please. <laughs> I don't know. If I got you, thanks for the donation. But if I got you blocked, then if you could still hear me talking, then your chances are you're probably not blocked. You're probably just in timeout because you've been talking that talk and I don't have time for that. Um, but do as you will, content creator. I will, Shan Crowder. Thanks. 
Um, he's not down low. I think both men and women want him. They can't believe that he is straight doing this without bashing women. Oh, that's a good point. North born Southern. People think I'm a clear woman because of my speaking voice. Folks um, need to really find a hobby or a job off YouTube. Um, TK put him in that closet and Jack kind of did too. Oh, you know what? You right, Mia. That's true too. When she was mad at him, it's bad that this narrative is still continuing. So if somebody tells you that they're a certain way, like you should, should you believe them? Or do you just say, fuck what a person says, I'm just going to run with my narrative or whatever it is that I made up in my, in my head. It comes off as phobic. Th thank you. This is what I said, Quaisha. I think I'm saying your name right, Quaisha. I feel like that's how you said it was name. said. But that's what I said early on. I said, hey, if y'all do feel like he is gay, uh, isn't it homophobic to bash someone for that? If y'all think he's gay or bi, isn't it like, isn't that bad? Don't people get canceled for that? Can I comment honestly? Yeah, you could also hit the link because I'm not, I, hit the link and say what you, got, what you need to say. The link is pinned. I'll put it again in the chat. Don't be afraid for all of y'all that have left comments like that onto my videos, come up here and say what you need to say. This is not even a confrontation. I'm not even here. I don't have the energy to be cussing people out. I didn't did enough of that for the last couple of days between here and TikTok. But you could say what you need to say. Um, from the moment the audience Central Joe y'all seem to fit together. What that means, Central Joe? I don't know what that means, but okay. That's slander. Yeah, it does seem like slander. Some judge a person's orientation from the way they talk, but necessarily determine what they or who they are into. Yeah, you really can't. I mean, it's 2024. Like, living a certain lifestyle, sleeping with certain types of people, There, there's no look to that. There's no look. There is no, there is no talk. Like you really don't know what a person is into these days. You really can't determine that just based off of, oh, cause they talk this way or they said this. Like, unless a person says, yes, I'm a man and I take dick. I'm a man and I suck dick. I'm a woman and I eat coochie. Like you really can't sit up here and say which that's what a person is. Like that's kind of, that's fucking disrespectful. That's disrespectful as hell. I think that the audience may pick up certain things about Storm that they in their minds associated with being homosexual or not heterosexual. It could be the topics or details that are covered. Oh, excuse me. I've had people in my life come out to me and I was confused on a big reveal. Like that's all you had to tell me. I don't care what you do as long as you are safe and not being forced into anything. I think it's crazy to say someone gay without proof. Yeah, that part. And people do lie too. We got to put that out there. People do, will tell a lie and come out and be like, I slept with so-and-so. Like, I need to see a video. And shit, these days, it be fucking AI and all types of stuff going on. So you just never know. Like, I honestly, I don't fucking know. This is weak. Let me go watch a storm video. I don't care what he is. Okay, boo. Bye. Don't let the door hit you. He friends with CTV, Storm Monroe, fucking Doniva, and I don't think he is friends with no straight men. Do you know him, Rebecca? You don't know if he's friends with straight men or not. That's not something that you could conclude just off of what you see on these YouTube streets. You don't you don't know him in real life. And think about the people that's in this sector. The people that is in this sector, when you have a common thread, then that's who you would associate with at work. It's just like being at work. We're at work right now. So who else is in the sector? It It's not far-fetched to think that you'd associate with who's in the sector of where it is that you work. Has he ever addressed if he is bisexual? Some men will deny being gay knowing they have or do involve with other males, but will also deal with women. 
he has addressed it. And he said that he was not bisexual and that he does not sleep with men, nor does he have a desire to have sex with men. And he has addressed this numerous times. So I'm just confused as to why is it that you guys want to believe something else so badly? Like, I don't know. But can we be honest that some men that sound more feminine are sometimes correlated with being homosexual? Gloria, yes, this is true. You make me feel comfortable talking about myself. Oh, I love that. Yep, it comes off as homophobic, but it seems like they don't get it, get canceled for bashing DL men like they would for bashing an overly gay men. Okay. I don't know. I mean, on social media. Uh, I'm, I don't know everybody that Storm is associated with on social media. I wouldn't know. I just know about like people that's in this particular sector. Um, sent me, you sent me another super uh, another um it was for misunderstanding don't block your blessing all right you sent me a couple cash apps what's your um cash app me again with your username and let me see because is that your username i don't know if i blocked you did i block you or did somebody put you in the timeout i don't know um if you could hear me you're probably just timed out I don't know. Um, Love Jones, go ask an elder in your family if he is rainbow and let them keep it real with you since you can't handle other being real with you in your chat. It's not about handling y'all being real with me, Love Beyond, but you're a stranger. You are entitled to your opinion. Nobody is saying that. I'm saying, who are you to come out and say that somebody is something and say you're keeping it real when you don't know these people? Like, that's crazy to me that y'all, people really feel like they could just be like, oh, this person is gay because I said so because of the way he talks to me. That's how I perceive him. So it's true. That's a bit crazy to me. If you don't know how to spot a rainbow man, y'all got big problems because ain't no way y'all can be that dumb. And you're getting blocked being disrespectful, bitch. I was being nice to you, but you're not about to come up here calling people dumb. You got me fucked up. Everybody's entitled. Oh no, I meant to block you. Everybody's in what you said? Mia, stop telling everybody who you don't agree with to hit the link, grow up. Bitch, you getting blocked. Who the fuck you think you are coming over to my channel thinking you could talk spicy? You got me all the way fucked up. And I'm not, don't, don't take your funky ass. I gotta say this before I block you. Don't take your funky ass over to nobody else's channel saying, oh, she blocked me because I said Storm was gay. Cause bitch, that's not why I blocked you. Everybody up in here is speaking a piece. You're being disrespectful. Talking about somebody got to be dumb. Bitch, you're dumb. Now you're blocked. They got me fucked up. People need to stop projecting, wish the best for people and keep it moving. Um, Love Jones, are you... Did, did I not just block this bitch? Why am I still seeing this comment? The fuck is this? Like, who do these people think they are? Exactly. Y'all not hitting the link. Like, what's going on? Like, it's plain as day to tell a gay man. Rebecca, you know what? I could look at your picture and assume things about you just based off of your, your picture, your profile picture. But that would not be nice of me to do because I don't know you and I've never even seen you in person. I think if you was ugly, people would not care. I, I agree with that too. But I just I just think that, you know, y'all need to keep it real with the, the fact that y'all are just making up things or assuming things about a stranger. Even though said stranger told you time and time again that that is not the case. I don't know what Storm would get out of lying. Maybe you're both inverts. Wait, I got to show this because this is fucking comedy. Wait, hold up. Maybe you're both Transformers. So you're saying that Storm was originally born a woman, a XX chromosome, and I was originally born a man. That's what you're saying. You're saying I have a penis 
and Storm has a vagina. Like, this is the type of shit that that's people is up here saying. So, Love Jones has a penis, and Storm has a vagina. Okay. This is bizarro. Like, what is going on? Bones don't lie. So now you're saying that I'm a transgender? Like, are we kidding? Now this person is sitting up here saying I'm a transgender and Storm is a transgender. I have to text him this because this is fucking insanity. This is bizarro. This is fucking bizarro. <laughs> this is this is bizarro. <laughs> uh, not saying he lying, but people do lie. There are many people in my family that suspect, and I know if they came out, they would be disowned by their parents. His parents wouldn't disown him. His mother wouldn't disown him. At the end of the day, like, he wouldn't be disowned. Nothing would happen to him if he came out and said that he was a homosexual. Nothing would happen to him. The wild shit he say and do, like, what would happen? People already expect that. So what would happen? If he was fucking men, if Storm Monroe was sucking dick and taking dick or giving dick to men, what would happen to him if that's was his lifestyle choice? I don't know what would happen. I don't I don't know what would happen. And once again, like I said, if people are on the DL like y'all are trying to say, you don't know until you know. That's just how life works. However, if he is saying that he does not sleep with men, why can't y'all just respect that? Like, is it unrealistic to think that some people are just different from what you think a person should be like? People are cultured differently. People are raised differently. People grow up differently. Like, everybody doesn't have the same mannerisms as you do. Oh, it says, uh, Lori, whoever this is, boo, it says the device is not connected. I see that you're trying to um hit the link, but... You got to connect your mic and your cam. Or you don't have to connect your cam, but at least your mic. Um, no way. You don't look like a trans at all. Have they not seen Storm Twitter pick? Yeah, I don't know what these people... I don't, I don't know. The real question is, why do people care? That's why I'm doing this live, because I want to know why they care. I want to know. I think that person is trying to be funny, and they want a reaction because you know Storm look like transgenders. Yeah, I don't know what that like I, I don't know yes call in call in because y'all y'all be real spicy in the comments y'all be real spicy why do people even care so much either way i'm late joining what brought on this topic a lot of people making videos and leaving nasty derogatory comments in my comment section about his sexuality, particularly under a video where it was only seven minutes long and I was legit just doing a vlog of us apartment shopping or looking at apartments. And that's what has people in a tizzy, like people are legit losing their fucking mind over that video, which is crazy. Um, I'm just curious what Storm's opinion on you doing a show about him. Storm loves this. Storm absolutely adores me talking about him. Duh. Y'all got to be crazy if you think I would do something that I, that we, we talk about everything. <laughs> 
Just like I would love if he sat here and did a whole show about me. I think it would be cool. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad at all. Hi, Love Jones. Hey, cut. No, ah, uh -uh, come for me. You're not coming up here cussing nobody out. We're not doing that right now. No, 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 no. People are saying little Uzi gay as well. Meanwhile, he has a whole long-term girlfriend. People want to impose their own ideas on what manhood looks like on others, and it's annoying. I mean, and then people would say, at the very least, he's bisexual. So that's what people are saying now. They're like, they're saying, because they are assuming that Storm and I have some type of romantic relationship going on, that, okay, well, if he's not completely gay anymore because he's around of town with this girl, this woman, then maybe now we could just say, you know, he's bi, he's bi. So that's what the people are saying now. Yes, don't cuss in the um, don't cuss in the chat, please don't. Cookie Monster Storm called in yesterday. We did a whole five hour live. You missed it. They're real jealous. They know you ain't no transfer. Yeah, I don't know why they would say that, but it's that's not the first person that said that. Like I told y'all, people have said those things about me before, and I mean like. When I was younger, it used to bother me. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, I'm human. I don't think y'all understand how much y'all fucking bitch ass people be cyberbullying the fuck out of Storm and me. I'm newer to this, but it's y'all be cyberbullying the fuck out of us like a motherfucker. The average person would not be able to take it. Like, constantly making videos, talking about people's looks, calling them fucking transformers calling them stupid and dumb bitches, calling them queens, misgendering them, talking about their hair, their wig, their body. Like that's a lot for people to take. It's not going to stop me because I'm going to keep fucking going. And I know I look good. I feel very confident about myself, the decisions that I make, no matter how the fuck the pendulum may swing in the future. I love where I am right now on this journey. And I am so appreciative and grateful for all of you that's here right now. And for everybody that's on this journey with me. I don't feel bad about shit. I don't give a fuck what happens, what what was said, what was heard, what what could happen. I don't care. I respect the moment that I'm in right now because this is where I'm supposed to be. Like this is the good parts of life. Like this is the the this is where the the biopics come from. This is where the movies are made of. Like this is this is what the movies are made of. This will be a scene in my movie. I always tell you at the end of the show, life is a movie. And you're starring in it. I am the star of my show. All of this is going to be, this is a scene in my movie right now. You're only bullied if you allowed it. Mindset is everything. I, I would agree to disagree. I would ad agree to disagree. Being affected by bullying is one thing, but people being a bully is something else. People are hell helling me. Yeah, and I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. Leave Storm alone. It's obvious that he is LGBTQ, but it's also obvious that he doesn't want anyone to know. You keep putting a magnifying glass on it for clicks and views. It's disrespectful. First of all, fun, fun. You don't come over here and tell me what the fuck to do. Second of all, you saying it's obvious he is a part of the LGBTQ is disrespectful. It is very disrespectful. And you're trying to be slick and give a fucking backhanded compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Because people want to try to divide and conquer and make it seem like I'm up here doing some shit that you would be like, oh, why would she do that? Like, as if I would ever disrespect you like that. Hello? You believe him at face value until proven otherwise. If it does not impact you directly, accept what they have confirmed and leave it alone. Ex thank you. I'm not telling you what to do. You just did try to tell me what to do. You can't handle criticism. You know, I'm telling you what you're doing is disrespectful and wrong. Disrespectful according to who? And the thing is this with criticism, right? Stranger dangers swear that they could come and tell you stuff. And because they are telling you something, you are supposed to choose, just adhere to what it is that they're saying. You're supposed to listen to what they're saying. And you're supposed to just do what they're telling you to do. Who the fuck are you to critique me? You're a stranger danger. It's not that I can't handle criticism. I take criticism from people that I respect, that I love, that I admire, and that I am inspired by. You're a stranger. I don't fucking know you. Your opinion is not greater than mine. 
So you will not come over here and tell me what to do and say, I can't fucking take criticism. You got me fucked up. Who are you to critique me? And y'all be getting it twisted. And I always tell y'all this. I tell my love bugs this all the time. You got to watch people. You got to watch who's coming around saying, oh, I'm just giving you criticism. Who the fuck are you to criticize me? People don't always criticize you because they want to help you and because they care about you. Sometimes people try to criticize you and call it constructive to knock you off your square. And to get their personal agendas and their personal points across. This person, Fun Fun, you came up here saying, oh, he's obviously LGBTQ. Who the fuck are you to say that? Who are you to say that? Don't open this chat. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. And now I'm blocking you. You don't tell me what to do. People are up here saying exactly what it is they need to say. And I am allowing people to say what they need to say. But you're not going to come up here and think you could tell me what to do. Like, what the fuck is this? Y'all got me fucked up, bitch. Girl, tell it, tell it to the wall. You can't hit it. Who is saying that your criticism is constructive? That's what, this is exactly what I'm saying. Who do these people think they are that their criticism is warranted, needed, constructive, or constructive, or I should just listen to them? That's dangerous. That's a dangerous mindset to have to believe that people, stranger dangers, opinions are more important than your own you should never ever let a motherfucker govern your life or tell you how to think what to do and how to act bitch no i will ever tell me how to move if i don't know you like that if i don't care about your opinion i won't even listen to you like who the fuck are these people like the fuck bitch why would they care what i am or what i'm doing like i don't get it i don't know but um, some cooking monster was in here like, oh, swear, Storm. I'm like, then somebody was like, oh, has Storm ever openly said that he wasn't bisexual or gay? Like, how many times have you said that? How many times? See, Love Jones is being nice and y'all still have a problem. Thank you. Because I really am being nice. And I'm saying hit the link if you really got something to say. Like, hit the link. Hit the link. Some of these people are jealous of your relationship. Stranger danger, period. It wasn't me. Well, I don't know who it was. I, I believe it was you. We could go back and look in the comments, but either way. Either way. Are you and Storm together? We're in we're in separate states right now. It's okay that people are look. I'm not mad that people is in my business. I'm not even fully mad at that. It's just like people saying all of these nasty things. Yeah, I I, I think I I do believe so, Ash. I I be do I be paying attention to what y'all be saying. But I, I I think that people just be saying a lot of nasty things, you know, and just going so hard under a video that has nothing to do with even anything, even remotely romantic. And that's what's confusing me. I think they have dealt with DL dudes and are projecting that storm because a lot of them are saying that you are possibly on the DL and they're saying basically like, oh, people lie about their lifestyles. People lie. And I'm like, well, why would Storm need to lie? If he was sleeping with men, then that would be his business. No, are you guys in a relationship? Uh, we don't really talk about stuff like that necessarily. Um, damn, they deeply invested in your kitty cat. <laughs> Storm's back there. Uh, Storm's here. He's cleared it up again. Now those who still got their undie in a bunch should hit the link. They they don't ever want to hit the link. They watching though. Felicia not interested in being any of these what show? Did you just call me a show? The osteologist knows bones. Uh, so um, this person is saying that we're transgenders. This person, Melody Pure, is saying that we're inverts and that you're really a woman and I'm really a man. And look, he said I was in Atlanta for four years. Why would I have to hide? Like, what the fuck is going on? Y'all are crazy as hell. 
Nobody. First of all, I'm not a devil, so watch your fucking mouth. Like, what the fuck is going on? Y'all look crazy as hell. Watch your mouth. Second of all, I'm not an invert. Yo, y'all are fucking bugging. I'm not a man. And he's not a woman. He has a penis. And I have a vagina. So I'm this girl shouldn't even be using your sexuality for content. What the heck? I would never do my friend like that. He told me to do it, El Stupido. He told me to do this. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Really think? Okay, he didn't. All right, let me let me say what I'm saying because then y'all gonna take this and run with it. Storm and I talk about a lot of different things. We talk about making content on a lot of different things. So you have to know that me making this video. He knew that I was, he knows, he knows. He I, let me see if I could find his content. I mean his his what he said up in here. So I could put it up here. So y'all can see. Cause y'all doing a lot. Y'all doing way too fucking much. Look, I told her to do the show. Exclamation. Do y'all see? This is Storm Monroe's account. He said, I told her to do the show, exclamation. So for people sitting up here saying, I would never do my friend like that, we're content creators. Your friends are not the same as my friends. Your goals are probably not the same as the goals of me and my friends. We're not the same. We're not the same. We're not the same. And I think y'all y'all need to stop thinking that you're going to see yourself in me or that you're going to see yourself in Storm because you will not. We are all different. I would not get up here and be disrespectful towards Storm or do something that he did not suggest, approve of, or give a, a red light to, I mean a green light to. I wouldn't do that. That part, they won't hit the link. I don't know why they, they got so much shit to say, but nobody wants to hit the link. Let me put it, pin it again. I don't know. Y'all are crazy. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Mia, I sent you a message. Okay, so you don't believe he is LGBTQ, but you don't really know Love Jones. Let's get to the fact. Storm is very feminine and always shows signs of being LGBTQ. I guess he's just super feminine. Storm never told me he was gay. Storm does not act like a gay man to me. I've been around Storm in person. 
multiple times in real life. His he ain't twirling around. He's not dipping it fucking low. He don't be like, yes, bitch, yes. His ain't bent. Whatever it is that he do on his show, he's an entertainer. It's called entertainment. It's called entertainment. I know for sure that he likes, like, come on. Y'all y'all trying to get me to really get up here and start talking a whole bunch of shit that I really don't feel like y'all is y'all's fucking business. I really don't think it's y'all business for me to be really giving y'all detailed fucking information. Like, y'all act like I'm walking around like Uzi. What's obvious? What's obvious? And stop what? Who are you? Exactly, so they've been saying that for years now. It's played out. Just let these folks run up your YouTube views. They are, and they running them up right now. Look at how many people was watching in this in this um chat right now. Look how many people is, is up in here watching this video. Look at how many people watching this video. I'm a content creator at the end of the day. This is what y'all want to talk about because I've seen over 350 comments talking about this, this particular topic. So clearly y'all have something that y'all want to say. So I said, let me make a video and open up the core lines because y'all are fucking talking a whole bunch of shit and y'all are making videos too. So it's not just, you know, storm your sexuality will always be questioned even if you are in Walmart. That's because you are super feminine and sound like my homegirls and aunties. No shade. I love your your show. That is shade. What do you mean no shade? But how did an apartment vlog cause so much drama? That part. Because legit, he wasn't even talking in the fucking video. So even if y'all do feel whatever it is that y'all feel, we were looking at apartments. So what the fuck is the issue? I got to tell the truth. That's your truth. That's not the truth. That's the, the issue is that people be thinking that they're opinions and what they perceive is facts and truth. That's not the truth. That's your truth. The truth can never be a diss. It's not the truth. That's your truth. Y'all are getting it twisted. That's what you think. That's crazy. Like y'all want this man to be sucking fucking like y'all want him to be with men so bad. Like why? If he's saying, hey, I'm not with men, even if you think he acts feminine, that's your opinion. But for you to take that and say, okay, he that means he's sleeping with men, where are we going with this? Who are you to put that on people? I don't know who you are from a hole in the wall. I could say because of the colors that you use that you're a butch, you're a bull dagger. Now that would be weird. Like, girl, you don't know me. You're just looking at like what I'm posting on YouTube. We're entertainers. Y'all see me cutting up. I act loud. I be doing all sorts of crazy shit on here. I don't act like that 100% of the time. We are all multifaceted. We're multi-layered and we're entertainers. I can act or sound however. That doesn't mean I'm with men. That part. That part. What real woman is going to be with that? Now you're being disrespectful, Ray, Renee. What the fuck you mean? I am a real woman. And what do you mean by that? Storm is a man. What do you mean? Y'all are delusional. This is delusion. Like, you're insulting me. You're trying to be cute. And it's not working. I... I'm really, really doing, I'm doing a good job. Ooh, I'm going to clap it up for me because I'm not going the fuck off the way I usually would. But what the fuck are you saying? Like, that's disrespectful. What real woman is going to be with, what the fuck you mean? This is like, y'all are wild. But if I'm not with you, then why do you care? Exactly. We see your type then, beloved. And what's your type? What the fuck are you trying to say? What we do know is Storm is very feminine. Oh my God, y'all are just, 
okay. So everything else is cap. You don't know what you're talking about. You're cap. And y'all are entitled to think what y'all want to think. I'm not even mad, but I just think it's fucking weird. And it's, it's, and it's disrespectful to continuously place something on somebody that you don't know. Y'all are all stranger dangers. Y'all are strangers. Like, it's just weird. It's, oh, let me see. Um... We see your type, but bitch, what a, a nigga that that mm, that you all can't stop talking about. Yep, I love somebody turned the fuck up. That's generous. Yeah, I, I'm very much so attracted to that. Wait. These rolls of flame uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Maybe she's not saying it like that. Maybe she's saying it in a different way, like to disapprove, disprove the accusation, like what real woman would be with someone who's really gay. That too. <laughs> That too. I mean, like, what I really do with someone that, or see, y'all. Oh my God, y'all. I'm okay. I need to relax before I start talking too much. Cynthia G is a friend. I never said why we were dating. What they said you dating Cynthia G? What the fuck is going on? What are they talking about? I miss. Look at the insults. So immature. Who who's insulting you? What are you talking about? Storm is not non-binary. Y'all are so fucking disrespectful, like misgendering someone. He's a man. That's very much attracted to women. And if he wasn't, why do y'all care? If I was fucking a man that's gay or bi, why do you care? Like, what is it to you? What What is it to you? Does that do anything for your day? If I was sleeping with somebody that was bisexual or gay, why would you care? I'm not knocking anybody's liking. If that's what you like, that's what you like. But everybody has different fetishes. I like men that like pussy. That's what I like. That's what I'm into. Y'all are crazy. Uh... Mm-mm. Y'all wasn't to talk, but can't hit the link. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Nobody wants to hit the link. They just want me to read their comments. Like they just want me to um read their comments. Nobody wants to actually hit the link. This is almost completely disrespectful to Storm to have this as a topic of convo. I like you and him both, honestly, but this is baiting for hate and negativity, even if you don't think so. Storm is in here. Like, Storm, do you think that this is completely disrespectful to you? Like, if you do, then, you know, when I just pulled, I don't feel like I need to keep explaining shit to y'all. Storm Monroe stays on Bussy Patrol. Okay, we about to have a party because we can have an open dialogue, but y'all not about to be up in here being disrespectful, bitch. We're not doing it. 
We're not doing it. Life is short. If you find someone to love or to share life with, go for it. Y'all real disrespectful as fuck in this chat. They are, but it's okay. If they get too out of hand, then I could get out of hand too. I could get out of hand too. Yeah, y'all don't. This is what I'm saying. Hit the. They don't want to hit the link. They just want to be a, behind a keyboard. That's what they do. And and you know what? I'm not even too mad because a lot of people cannot handle actual dialogue without getting like rowdy or you know trying to be disrespectful. Because I'm not about to let nobody hit my link and talk to me crazy. Because you will get cussed the fuck out. I'm so glad I love myself and my self esteem is not built on what others think. Period. I'm glad you do too, Snore. Cause they up in here talking crazy. Like, and I can't believe somebody really tried to call us trannies. Like, what the fuck is going on? People talk so much shit and they don't even know you. Like, how do you talk about somebody so much that you never met, you don't know in real life? You're only going off of an, a YouTube persona. Like it's entertainment. That shit is crazy to me. People acting like they really know a person's life. What's at the link? The link is to come up and actually talk instead of just typing. Storm, why you like this bimbo? Like, what the fuck is... That's just disrespectful. It's pinned at the top. Why is this a good topic? This is this man's personal life. People shouldn't be prying. Hold on, I'm gonna get my computer because I'm calling it. <laughs> y'all are funny, but y'all, I don't know what's going on. Love Jones is good people and I'm not the devil y'all want me to be. He's not at all, like, Storm is, that's crazy. It really is. Hi, Electric Sunrise. Hey. Hi. Hey, I really, that's supposed to be Sunrise. I made a mistake. But okay. I love you. I love you and Storm. Yeah, oh. thank you. Hello? Hello? I don't know what happened. And I, I think that um, people want to make other people miserable. People want to make other people miserable. Okay, yeah. Sometimes that is true. People project a lot of what it is that they are experiencing onto other people. Yeah, and it is obvious Yes, and it is obvious that Storm is not gay. That Storm is not gay. Mm -hmm. He's not. And that you're all woman. I am. <laughs> and it's just that, you know, people want to see. People want to see. You keep going in and out, boo. Other people miserable. And I, they want to, yeah, make you feel bad like them when they see your suspense. And I don't feel bad. That's the thing. Like, I'm really, tr I'm doing a really good job because I usually cuss people out real hard. I cuss people out bad. And I and I was like, you know what? When I do this show, I don't want to do that because I want people to be expressive. And because everybody is continuously just saying these things. And I'm like, okay, like, what the fuck? Okay, now what? Like, why do you care? What what do you get out of this? Hello? All right. I don't know what happened, boo. I can't hear you. Me? Hello. Hi. So, um, I 
it's it's like a lot of um it's like all we can do is really speculate and it's like that's really not gonna benefit anybody i see that you came in here because you want to address people who are being disrespectful towards you which, yeah. which i understand but all the speculation is not gonna go nowhere because no none of us know only storm knows now, um, as far as him being feminine, acting very feminine, that is why people question it. And so for people to, for um, y'all to feel so confused as to why people are questioning his sexuality is kind of mind boggling. Any man that acts feminine, it don't matter, it doesn't matter who the man is, people are gonna question his sexuality. So why is it so mind boggling that people question that? It's mind boggling because he's addressed those questions multiple times and people are coming out with these accusations under a video of us merely looking at apartments. That's what makes it mind boggling. All right. But it's, it's ultimately not going to get us nowhere to keep speculating on his sexuality. Uh, what we do know is that he's very feminine. I don't know why he's feminine like that. I, I don't See, know. I can tell you why. He's an entertainer. It's called entertainment. If you knew him in real life, his personality is, he doesn't, he's more mild. I could say that. But on YouTube, if he was monotone, it would be boring. You wouldn't be entertained. He wouldn't have as many subscribers as he has. That's why he <clears throat> is more animated or what you guys would consider more feminine. And he's also cultured differently. Like, have you ever been around white guys like or fraternity brothers? They don't act the way that you would think a quintessential black man would act. So that has a lot to do with it as well. And you're entitled to your opinion. The reason why I'm making this video is because the video that people were making all of these comments under had absolutely nothing to do with anything romantic. He wasn't, he was barely even talking in the video. So that's why it's so mind boggling. I'm right. I, I understand you got to address people as being hateful towards you, but all of the you, you going hard for saying, oh, he's not gay, y'all. He's not gay. Trust me, trust me. We're not going to trust you, girl. We, because you don't know. And it's simple. It's simple as that. that. It's so simple. No, I could say with my whole chest that he likes vagina. Now, if y'all want to speculate if he's bisexual, that's something completely different, but he's not gay because a gay man strictly is fucking dick, and that's not the case here. So I can say that. And you don't have to trust me. You're right. We're all entitled to our opinions. Thank you for calling in. Bye. Bye. Now let the caller talk. We want them to call in. I wasn't being mean to her. I let her talk. Um, And if he's feminine, what about the other members with podcasts and commentary showing shows doing the same thing he's bisexual then so, <laughs> so, <laughs> you handled that well thank you i think i did too anyone that disagree with her is hating her this call is spot on who said anyone that disagree is hating like what do you what do you Oh my God. Like y'all not about to fucking do me. Y'all not about to do me. Y'all not. Y'all not about to fucking do me. Oh, okay, Mia. It's crazy that people haven't met uh, arguing with you and you've actually met him in person. This is what I'm saying. Like he don't, I mean, in, I, I don't know. He's fucking hilarious, but it don't give, it's not like, yeah. Yeah, time this person out. I can't time them out from my laptop. Oh, I oh, yes, I, I could. Yeah, you're you're timed out. Cause what the fuck are you talking about? Um, I've met the most masculine men and felt hard for them, only to find out they wanted a while a white man the entire time. A whole man is that what you mean? He's been around women a lot in his life. Obviously, nothing else to question. Yeah, because I don't think I've said he's not gay. He's not gay. Trust me. I don't I don't recall saying that. I'm just saying, like, why y'all going so hard saying these things? Like, it's fucking weird. It's bizarro. Like, 
I know that he likes vagina. Like the fuck, bitch. I know that his dick gets hard. Like, and I'm and I don't give a fuck. And I yup, and I said it. Bitch. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> hey, I swam the fin man. Oh my god. Oh my man. I, 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 first off, how are you tonight? I don't even know why I did this. <laughs> I'm like, this is a <laughs> lot going on. But fuck it. We in a building. It's April. It's April, and listen, I will say this. I got to give you your props. You've been handling, like, you've been handling it pretty well. Like, I can't, I can't even lie, but I did want to say, like, I want to, what was, I, I didn't even see what her name was, but she was like, well, I don't see how you guys are just so confused on why people are saying this. We're confused on why y'all going so hard under an apartment video. It, that part. That's what I said to her. You see what I'm saying? That That's the only thing. Like, I, I looked at this shit objectively. You see me driving. You see me talking. And I'm not popping my tongue. I'm not doing none of this shit. <laughs> I, I actually sound white, which is that's how I talk true. in real life. Hello. That's why I said, like, people are cultured differently. Like, and, and that's and, and that's it. I was walking normal. I'm just like, why under that video? That's what was throwing me off. It, it, it was threw me off too, and that's why I decided to create this live. It's not just people in general saying, "Oh, he's gay." Nobody, we're used to that, but like, I it's over like three hundred and fifty fucking comments of people saying these things, and I keep getting notifications, and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" And let me also say that. You are definitely not trans. I know that for a fact. And neither are you. Like, why would somebody say this? First off, my penis has been all over Twitter, so I don't know how they what? even make that shit up. Like, what the fuck is going on? And you've seen my vagina. I don't give a fuck about these people anymore. It is what it is. The fuck? Yeah, you, you are all women. <laughs> Believe that. <laughs> like, god damn. Me but I mean, it, it, I, mean at the, I, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, I, I spend a lot of time like around my grandma and shit and then my mom and you know, it, it it is what it is. And then I'm country too at the same time. So mm. if you go yeah, to like uh -huh. oh, no, no none of that means he's not into men. See, they just you just they just want you to be fucking men real bad. Yeah, well then it's 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 nothing I can do to change their mind. But I was gonna say, like, <laughs> even if you go to certain parts of like the Midwest or even down south, you'll have a lot of pre well, I'm not gonna say preachers, that ain't no good example, but you'll have a lot of men who kind of sound like me, and these niggas are straight and they got families and everything. I'm just like, I just want people to know like the ones that you think or straight be the ones that be DL. hello like it doesn't have a look and it just does not have a look it doesn't have a talk oh he's feminine so i don't like super fucking hyper masculine thug ass niggas like i like you like it just is what it is i don't give a fuck what these people think i'm not trying to convince anyone of anything i just don't understand why people are going so hard underneath this video that's why I made this video because it's I, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I was confused as well. Like, I mean, I get it. Like, like, okay, so then if we really want to talk about acting feminine, then how do they feel about all the fucking IG comedians and actors that like put on wigs and dresses and shit? I don't know. How do they feel about? How do y'all feel about all of the IG actors? And comedians that put on dresses or like Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence and everybody else and everybody else in the entertainment industry that has worn a dress or acted feminine in a role. Like, what do y'all think about that? Yeah. Now somebody, okay. you, you believe they hooked up. Like, what? Okay. Okay. See, now y'all. Now, like, all right. <laughs> now y'all just being stupid. Why in the fuck would this girl lie on her pussy like that? <laughs> I 
God. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Come on now, like. <laughs> See, they don't want to give me credit for shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. Like I, I'm just like, I, I don't know. Mm. Now they moving the goalposts. Exactly, Monica. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Now they moving. The, now they moving the goalposts. Yeah. Like, but I'm, I'm still gonna be me. I'm going to fucking, uh, uh, I'm gonna be me. Like I'm not, I'm just not insecure about that type of shit no more. It is what it is. You either fuck with me or you don't. I got all kinds of friends. I got hyper masculine friends. I got gay friends. I got uh uh fucking uh religious friends, non religious. Like it's plenty of motherfuckers that know me. So if they don't care, like y'all really think my feelings hurt over some strangers? Come on now. Yeah, somebody was like, oh, um, so why does he only hang out with like CTV and like somebody or like other people? And I'm like, this is a sector. It's like going to work. Like the, those are the people that's in this commentary sector. Like y'all. Oh, they basically were saying like, you don't have no straight friends. First off, you don't know who the fuck my friends are. Cause I don't put them on camera. <laughs> what are y'all talking? Why? So y'all can fucking stalk them too. Wait, hold up. Did you? Did, did she just, wait, I, are you talking about, did you just say I use a dildo to screw him? Bitch, you got me fucked up. See, I was trying to be respectful. Renee, nay, Renee, who the fuck ever you are, I'm blocking you now. Cause that's just disrespectful. I allowed y'all, I've been policing myself and I've been allowing y'all funky dog head ass bitches to speak y'all peace. But now you're just being disrespectful. You're getting blocked. Let the fucking door hit you on the way out, bitch. Like, what is wrong with people? And then they, and then this is what they'll try to say. Oh, she got mad because people were saying he was gay. No, that's not the fuck what I was doing. I let people speak their motherfucking piece. But you're not going to be disrespectful. Yeah, you're getting um, no man uses this type of dialogue. Like, like Kelly, you're getting blocked too, bitch. I, I don't, I, I'm the fuck tired of you. <laughs> like, because I've been, I've been letting them, well, you watch some of it. I haven't been, I've been allowing people to like, you know, say what they need to say. I, I'm not about to deal with this shit. You kept you kept your cool for two hours. I give you that. You kept your cool, kept your cool. But no, nah, like, I mean, that whole dildo thing, that's just disrespectful. That's but so disrespectful. That, I would never stick nothing up a man's ass. That's disgusting. First of all, I, I don't even get down like that. I'm not even finna do that. But see, she just don't want to believe that I actually penetrate. Y'all fuck. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Look, this dick works. <laughs> Don't get it fucked up. <laughs> Don't get that shit fucked up. Oh my god! Like it works, guys. I don't know what. Why are y'all so like? But but like I'm I'm alternative, and I know that. And by that alternative, I mean like I like a certain kind of music. You know, I got you know I got three fucking piercings in my ear. Like I I understand what I give off. But if I'm telling you I, I don't fuck men, why the fuck do I have to lie to y'all? Who the fuck are y'all? That part. You're not going to do shit no matter who the fuck I fuck. So there's nothing I have to be afraid of because there's nothing to be afraid of. So what, what are y'all talking about? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And that's what I said earlier. I'm like, I per me, my personal preference, I don't sleep with gay men. I don't want to be with a bisexual man. That's not a preference of mine. But if you were, and that was something that you decided to do, and that's how you decided to live your life, you was on YouTube way before we met each other. Why the fuck would you have to lie? Why the fuck would I have to lie? Especially when, come on now, I lived in Atlanta for four years. That's the fucking gay capital. <laughs> So I lived there for four years and I just didn't do no gay shit while I man, get the fuck out of here. Mm -mm -mm. I, oh, I forgot. Then they tried to say, oh, well, that's what all those out of town trips is for. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, y'all like to use that one. Mm -mm -mm. 
but but what I was what I was gonna say before is like CTV is good people like I th that's the homie but I have never actually met him in person see people wouldn't know that they probably think that y'all meet up for tea and crumpets that's what I'm saying like we don't live in the same state so and, and not to say that we're never gonna meet because guess what if we want to meet up and, and hang out then I can fucking do that and ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it but I've never actually met him in person. So do you see how people talk and don't know what the fuck they're talking about? Mm -hmm. If they talk about Jake, Jake is on social media. And I hung out with Jake before without Storm. Thank you. Hello. He's mad cool. <laughs> people don't be knowing shit. People don't be no way. <laughs> like nothing at all. Like, geez Louise. Jeez Louise. It, you know, it it, it it is what it is. Like, I love me. I love me some me. Like, these motherfuckers making me love myself more because I got to be that nigga to make these niggas that mad. Uh, yeah, Mia. Yeah, me being me and just expressing myself got you niggas that mad. But the thing is, you wasn't even expressing shit in that video. That's what. I, I, yeah. That's why I'm so confused. Like the girl that called in, she's like, "Oh well, why would people? Why y'all acting like y'all so flabbergasted or confused by people saying? It? People have been saying this for a while, but to have." almost getting close to 400 comments on a video with us just walking you're barely walking by like what the fuck is happening that's weird that's weird you and then and i said i sat back the other day and i was like i because i was really trying to like understand like like what the fuck am i missing i know what i give off you can assume it blah 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 but like why do they go so hard because my family wouldn't care. And if you know me, you know I don't give a fuck about what my family think. And uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I Any know. nigga that go change his whole name don't give a fuck. They like, oh, well, some people's family disown up. Like, this nigga don't care. Oh, his mother, people are not going to. So Do you think I give a fuck? <laughs> Do you know who I am? Oh. Motherfucker, I get rid of people and they come to me. Mm -mm -mm. They know TV be have been having a lot to say. They I don't know if this is a man or a woman, but I'm gonna say they said they are not gonna stop talking about it. Come on now, and then they also said I'm highly against any man putting on a dress for entertainment or just. Uh, Storm hasn't put on a dress or wig. We don't need to humiliate men for laughs. But but, that. but you know what though, I would much rather y'all go hard at these gangsters in the black community, the drug dealers, absentee fathers. I feel like you can do anything to the black community except be gay or be feminine. It, not, matter of fact, now that I think about it, even when it comes to the Diddy and Meek Mill shit, y'all know Diddy is fucking raping these niggas. Mm. And y'all really not going hard at Diddy. Y'all going hard, more hard at Meek Mill because y'all think he taking it. Like I'm, just, I'm not understanding like Y'all be worried about the wrong thing. That's crazy. It's so crazy. Like legit, the fem the black femicide rate is through the roof. Why the fuck y'all ain't protesting that? Thank you. Men are talking about beating our asses in all of these songs. Like. It's ridiculous. The shit that I see on TikTok, I'll be like, what is going on? Like, this is wild, wild style. And I don't see anybody in the comment section saying that it's wrong. Like, women dead ass getting their ass beat by their baby daddy on live, and people were still following them and giving them views and loving on it. Like, I I'm so concerned. Yep. Not, not protesting against that, but got to get up under a video where, 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 think about it. I'm, I'm just, I'm helping you out. We we looking at apartments and that triggered you niggas. 
<laughs> Golly, like that really triggered you niggas. Wow. We yeah, all got the we hung out the whole weekend too. Y'all, y'all be mad at that. I oh guess oh god, I opened doors and all that. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> and pay for everything. Right. Oh. That That's crazy. I just I don't know. Like, I think it's disrespectful. Like, even if people feel like you are a certain way, like to go so hard after you continuously say, Hey, I'm not like this, and they're like, Oh, like I don't maybe they think they're trying to warn me or save me or something. I don't know, but it's like if I was with a nigga that looked like 50 Cent, something could come out with a person like that. Like, you just don't know until you fucking know. You know what I mean? Or you just don't know. Like, it doesn't have a look, a touch, a taste, a smell, a vernacular. Uh, it, it really, like, being a part of that community doesn't look or act or sound a, a certain type of way. It's 2024. It's 2024. And I've been I've been around a lot of circles. And one thing I didn't figure out, the ones that's like that, they don't look like it. At all. They don't look like it. I motherfuckers in the industry have, have hit me up in the DMs. You know, I've told you this. I've said this publicly <laughs> on the show. I would never expose who they were. But guess what them niggas look like? Niggas. Fucking basketball players, football players, rappers. Niggas, they look like niggas that you, that y'all would never think. So y'all so busy worried about me, I'd be like, man, let me stop. <laughs> Bree said, uh, "Storm has uh, just has standards, and dudes don't like to be um, accountable for not measuring up. No substance. They are projecting a true man would applaud Storm for going with LJ as support. That part, like, I don't understand how." That turned into a does she know or oh this he this and that, and the misgendering like is so disrespectful. It's very so disrespectful. disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Very. Like to call you a queen is so disrespectful. That is crazy. What people get away with. It's really crazy because this type of this is the type of shit that you get canceled for. Where's the outrage? Where's the community? Where is the outrage? <laughs> Where where's my fucking where's my fucking community? You're right. Like, what's going on? Like this is what the fuck? If you think about it, it is cyberbullying. It is. That's what I said earlier. I'm like, this is cyberbullying real bad. Like, just because you know you're up here and you got a lot of subscribers, you're still a fucking person. And if you say, hey, guys, that's not true, why don't people respect that? It's so disrespectful. It's just not okay. It was just how far they went with it. Like, then it was like, oh, well, yeah, well, maybe they bring somebody else in. And they it was like, what? Wait, what, how the fuck you get that from an apartment video? <laughs> People was calling me a dumb bitch. I'm like, what's going on? What is happening? Like, this was that went, it just went way too far. Like, what the fuck? People still cussing me out, talking about who the who are you? Nobody knows you. You're nobody. Oh, I, oh I'm somebody. You somebody. I don't even know you. I never heard of you. So why are you leaving comments under my video? Like what? It's crazy. That shit wild. So I mean, I don't know. Like, what? What do people? I don't know what people expect or what people think or thought. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. I'm just confused as to why people went so hard under that particular video. And why does it matter? Like, why do y'all care? Like, are y'all trying to fuck him? Like, do y'all want to have sex with him? This is what I want to know. To the 327 people up in my motherfucking chat that's being a bush babe right now and a looky loo. Do you want to fuck him? Is that why it matters? I, th like, I think 
I think I just trigger them. But trigger why? Like I think I trigger their trauma, and I think they start. I I think like I trigger their trauma, and maybe they, you know, get reminded of of a dude that maybe rejected them. I don't I don't know. I don't think it's all they want to fuck. I think it's like they have trauma. <laughs> Mm-mm. I don't know because I've never even if I wondered like oh I wonder if this person you know are into women or whatever I'm not gonna be going mad hard saying they're gay they're gay bitch you're stupid you're a beard you're this who is doing that like first of all you and I never even came out and said like yeah this is we about to get married tomorrow like it, 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 we don't we never even really came out and confirmed what the fuck we had going on for people to be cussing me the fuck out. First and foremost, <laughs> like what is happening? Second of all, that's also insulting to me because you're basically saying like, bitch, you're stupid. You're fucking a gay man. Like, uh, what? Shit, they mama fucked a gay man. <laughs> but men, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying not to be vulgar and say certain shit. I know. I know. Yeah, you like, I'm trying not to really go there, but it's like, even if you did, what, like, how was that going to change their life? I was saying that too. Like, what if I was okay with that? Even though I, I'm not, like, that's not right. what I meant. But what if that was the case? Like, then what? What if you were bisexual and I was okay with that? Then what? Then what? Like, who are these fucking people to uh, to think that you're supposed to just have to tell them who you're sleeping with or what you do in the bedroom? <laughs> then the no TV, we don't care. Yes, the fuck y'all do. Yes, you, you do. do. Nah, That's y'all can't. Nah, you, you can't say that now. Nah, nah, nah. You just got your ass up here and made how many comments? Now you're going to talk about some we don't care. The, the lie like a Persian rug. And, and and nobody's been able to tell me what do I have to lose? What do I have to hide? Why would I have to lie about it? Nobody's been able to tell me that. You can't say family because I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> and anybody that knows me knows that. So why do I have to lie? I'll be say y'all are YouTube celebrities now. Y'all make motion. That's we it. See- that's it. We lit. We lit. I, I already knew that. That's crazy, but we don't care, but we want to know. Then you do care. Exactly. Tomato, tomato. No, that doesn't work. Ada and Will Smith. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Jaden and Will, like, really? It does not give that. Mom, this is crazy. First off, Will has been in a marriage that he fucking hates all because he doesn't want to fail and get a divorce. I could never be Will because, bitch, I would get a fucking divorce. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) (laughs) I leave motherfuckers. I cut motherfuckers off. I change my phone number. I move across the country. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that part. Shit. Talk about some boo. I could never be Will because I don't give a fuck with the public thing. He still care. Yeah, and I'm not... Uh-uh. Jada, I would never sleep with my fucking son's best friend that he brought around and have him shacked up in my house with my husband. That's some. That's crazy. That's some crazy shit. Like, I would not do that. Y'all bedroom, y'all life. That's what I was saying. If, like, if y'all were in um intimate and etc. They want to know so bad. Should we tell them? No, no. Let them keep guessing. Let them keep guessing. We just gonna say we know for sure that <laughs> either of us are trans. How about that? <laughs> that part. That part. Because that's wild. Like, why would somebody say they're inverts? They're trying to say we like like industry plants. That's really what they're trying to say. But, like like on some Illuminati shit. So the bigger we get, they're gonna say 
uh, you know, you was really born a man, I was really born a woman, and we was put together by the industry. That's bizarro. We give industry what the fuck? Like that, that just means we on the way up. I mean, I've seen people saying you was with the Illuminati. I have seen that before, but not me. Should I just got here? <laughs> You like I should have way more than if I were Illuminati. <laughs> exactly. Hello, the fuck. Don't backpedal. Wanting to know is Karen idiot? Who an idiot? Who y'all talking to? I just like even like even look look at this picture right here, Love Jones. Your passport, bro. Picture. Right. <laughs> I'm just chilling. That's me in real life. I be chilling. You really do. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's weird. I really don't know. You don't even. Don't, honestly, uh, in real life, you don't even talk that loud. Like, for, no. you legit be like, hey, like, you don't, it's don't give. I don't know. I don't know. I be, Tell I, the truth, I'm mad that. Wait, what's this person say? Tell the truth. Y'all mad that tells expose y'all. Now y'all doing all these lives to save face. Love Jones, you need to apologize to... Okay. Expose what? And doing all what lives? We First of all, nobody expose shit because there's nothing to expose. Second of all, we make content, bitch. We always did lives together. We was going for a little smidget of a minute. Now we back with the jump off, ho. Nobody cares about that dumb bitch. Period. You need to apologize. I, <laughs> she needs to fix the part in her wig. How about that? That's Get probably her. her. That is probably her. She know every fucking thing we do. <laughs> every to a team, but she be lying though. <laughs> I don't. I don't even watch them like that. No, every fucking thing. <laughs> crazy bitch getting out of work. On her fucking lunch break, <laughs> talk about some. You thought I was gone. <laughs> you crazy bitch. Oh my God. Storm and LJ. pussy, ho. Oh my God. Storm and LJ, I be saying, hey, y'all, be ignoring my ass. Hey, you know, Indica, oh, baby. Hi, Indica. Oh, look. See, no man calls a woman a dumb bitch like that. Here we go. So, no, don't no man call a woman a dumb bitch. Are they, like, are we serious? Like, should I, should I pull up like some YouTube videos? Like, what is going on? Do I need to put on a rap song? <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? So wait a minute. So that so that that what girl can make up all kind of lies about me and stalk cyber stalk me, but I can't call her a dumb bitch. Here's the evidence. This boy is all right. Now you're getting blocked, bitch, because you're getting on my fucking nerves. See, I let you come up here and and talk and. But you being disrespectful. I'm not about to fucking go for that. I'm not. Wait. You 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 get get the fuck out of here, bitch. Bye. The double standard, that part, the double standard of it all. Like, why don't they ever go to these people in their fucking comment sections and tell them that maybe they should chill? And that they're looking deranged and fucking psycho and obsessive. But when you retaliate, when your response is purely out of being fed the fuck up and it's reactionary, you get the fingers pointed at you. Yep. What type of shit is that? Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. I can't. I mean, it's like, it's annoying, but it's okay. Cause people like that turn you to fuck up. So I'm not, I'm not too mad. Listen, and they gonna stay tuned in. They gonna watch everything we do, follow. They gonna do all that shit. We fucking icons. Wait, I need I need a sound bite though because these motherfuckers been coming up in here saying you disrespecting Storm. Why would you make a video like this? Why would you put to do some content like this? 
Can you say what do you think about that? I told you to do the show. <laughs> I told you to do the show. Cause they Run for sure, shit up. They for sure want to try to make me a villain. You know they're going to try to do that. Like, why would she do that? Why would she try to shine a light on that? That's what they've been coming up in here saying. Shit, you niggas shine the light on. Did you see the comments? <laughs> Comments going crazy. Y'all really famous. Don't nobody want no bumpy pussy. Oh, what? What? See what I'm like? Come on now. Where did comment even come from? It's funny to me because I don't know of these haters. I know you and Slum, that's all. Oh, Nika, girl, they out there. I went to her page. You know what, Ash? Someone sent me an email. I think Come For Me sent me an email. I'm not sure. Because, you know, people's usernames and their real names and everything be different. Like, even when y'all send me direct messages on Instagram, I honestly don't really be knowing who it is unless you have, like, a similar name. or You know? Yeah, yeah. But um, defending you a song and uh, she and then I was disrespecting her. Yeah, people was going over there telling her she need to stop. She's like, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Like, damn. I know you are, but what am I? I'm just um, like. This person, the person, the caller that called in. Um, wait, you, you near your device, your mobile? Uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm on the cell phone. Can you see your messages? Uh yeah yeah it'll pop up for me. Okay. Um. Oh uh, let's see. Oh never mind if they. They left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh. Well, if it comes back. Um, this is great. They making y'all famous. Yeah, haters make you famous. I say that all the time. Absolutely. I told you, we're gonna be a fucking case study. We're gonna be going viral on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, and people are gonna be having debates. Hey, is, is they together? Is they not? Is, who is she? Where she come from? He gay. No, he not. Yes, he is. Well, I went to school with so I mean they gonna they gonna lay it down. What are they gonna do when we go to Target? Like <laughs> gonna do they gonna when we go to the fucking supermarket like because this is fucking ridiculous um i'm glad i ain't go party mia you be out on a town not to be off topic if y'all both of y'all men okay really see those are just trolls come on now you gotta be because i I have a really, really pretty vagina, a natural one. Facts. Not me. What? I have man hands with fucked up teeth. Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay, I'm blocking you. Because why are these people saying these? You see how mean they are, and now if I start cussing them out, they're gonna say she's cussing out her subscribers. Why are they calling me a tranny? Like, what the fuck is it giving? It never gave that. Okay. Um, hi. Hi, me. Hi. Um, this okay, it's it's no hate, y'all. It's no hate. I want everybody to listen. It ain't no hate. It's all love. But Storm, boy, you be telling it on yourself. Boy, with them comments you be making, the way you be commenting on womanly things that only women know about some bust down wigs. And yeah, you do it all the time, baby. You been, you, this ain't the first time you made a comment like that. So I just let you know if you don't, I mean, you might not care. 
I mean, y'all say y'all don't care what we think, but then y'all act like y'all care. I don't know if y'all care, but men don't know real masculine men know about them feminine things like that. And then ain't, well, well, hold men, up, ain't hold no up, masculine men about to even argue hold, hold with up. women. Hold, they don't hold argue up, with hold, women. Hold, hold up, hold up. Let me respond to that. So, have you ever been on the red pill side of YouTube just by chance? Uh huh. Have you ever watched any of these dating shows that's like on social media by chance? Um, are you referring to like the 20 versus one type shows like that or something? Yeah, I mean, 20 versus one, Kendra G, anything like that. Uh huh. What do you hear men over there talk about they want or don't want in a woman? It depends on the men, because some of those men, um, you know, don't really have standards, whereas some of them just on it for a check and really got a wife at home. So it really depends. Have you, have you or have you not heard several of those men say, oh, I just want a natural woman. I don't really want no woman wear no wig like that. I mean, every now and then it's cool. Maybe some makeup, maybe just a little foundation, maybe just a little lip gloss. Not this, not that. You've never heard a man describe all that shit. A man is gonna keep it real general. They just gonna they're just gonna say natural, something general. They're not gonna know the specifics though. Like you well, be I'm, on. Well, I, I'm gonna respectfully disagree because I've heard niggas list specifics. I mean, like, and to where even I was surprised. So I'm going to respectfully disagree on that, number one. Number two, I know a lot of shit. Like, I don't know if you ladies know this, but they, everybody has access to the internet. So <laughs> it ain't nothing y'all got. It ain't nothing that even the men got that's being gatekept. So how do I know about this shit? You just listen enough and you can apply this shit. But I know a lot of shit. I, I, know, I know a lot of shit, so... Men, they, they don't care about that stuff. Men do not care about that stuff to even put in the effort to know about it, baby. They don't. But I'm I, talking I, to I, women, I though. Around, I got I got masculine around people around me, feminine. I got all type of walks of life. I done seen it all. And so when you, you know do everybody, that, so I'm saying you know everybody. But do you, do, you, do you represent all men? Because I, I understand where you're coming from and how it might come off. But what I'm saying is... If I'm talking to my audience as women, you you damn right. I'm going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. You damn right. I got so, women in my family. You think I ain't never heard women in my family talk about different shit with hair and makeup? There is no excuse. And the men in my family got a rule for themselves. They don't argue with women. And men and the, mess, the men that I have met in life who... Are, who have morals and principles, not even just by being gay, masculine, feminine, just having morals and principles as a man or a person. So I ain't not, got morals now? They not women, and they not going off on women like you do. You be snapping off on women, getting real catty. So is so it they can talk just okay to me, with being disrespectful to women? Wait, wait. So they can talk shit to me, but I can't say nothing back? That's like saying, oh, a woman punched me. You saying I can't punch no, her back? No, I'm right. damn sure going to hit your ass back no, if you no, hit no, me. You should be though. able to dis no, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm going to knock your ass out. You no, lay your hands on me. Oh, no. I'm not that. Wait, we're not going to compare words with physical violence. Like, we're not going to do that. And at the end of the day, men absolutely argue with women. Like, are you not on the internet, girl? That's what I'm saying. That's all these the niggas do. We make content, so we watch content all day and night. We see this shit all day and night. The late, some of y'all motherfuckers would say great Kevin Samuels was going back and forth with women, talking about their clothes, their hair, what they smell like, perfume, how they should carry themselves, how they should talk... Wait, wait, wait a minute, though. Literally, he called himself a what? An image consultant. Go Kevin ahead. Samuels all day and night was on women's asses about what they wore. He argued back and forth and built a huge platform, and men idolized him. Now, am I saying that it's necessarily okay to be going back and forth all day? No. But women, some do not go back and forth. Look, I'm trying to not. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I really don't know. Now, when it comes to celebrities... And what I talk about in the roasting and the dragon, that's my job. Now, maybe you feel like a straight man shouldn't be doing this job. And maybe you would feel more comfortable when gay men do it. But, sis, I'm here to let you know, like, 
you got fucking DJ Academics, you got Joe Budden, you got the Breakfast Club, you got them niggas over in the sports sector that give the fucking tea. You, I've seen niggas in the passport bro sector give mm -hmm. the fucking tea. So we we not going nowhere. I'm just like you know, but I'm just saying like like <laughs> you like we just said you dragon roast men too. So it's not just sure a do. Sure and I'm gonna unmute you now, boo. I just wanted to to do that so we could not all talk over each other. Stop lying to these people. And bye. And God bless. What? Girl. And she didn't. And she didn't have nothing else to say. Yeah. Stop lying to these people. Cause who are you lying to? Like, what do you? What? Oh my God. Okay. And, and who is she to me to have to lie to her? <laughs> like. But you see what I'm saying? It so yeah. it went from her. Uh, it went from her saying I'm obviously gay to now. Well, what kind of man? You know, this ain't even about masculine or feminine. This is about what kind of man with morals and integrity. Well, bitch, I ain't shit. How about that? Now what? Oh God. They get um, me with that bullshit. Morals and integrity, but your baby daddy ain't got no fucking morals and integrity. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I treat women very well, bitch. How about that? <laughs> you do. And and I feel like people are trying to like fuck up my credibility or something or like make it seem like what I'm saying is not real. Like if Storm was a piece of shit ass nigga, I would not talk to him. We would there would be no type of friendship. I would not be on the internet with this man. Like I'm very aware of what the fuck I'm doing. I'm cognizant. Y'all see the type of content that I make. I'm all for women. I'm for hypergamy. I'm for fucking women leveling up. I like men that uh, are chivalrous. Like I like men that cash women out. Like I'm into that. I feel like a man should always invest in you. Do y'all really think I would publicly align myself with a nigga that's not like that? Are y'all dumb? Like, come on. I, I can't be now. It's one thing if I was doing this shit in the privacy and the secrecy, bitch. I cannot. I am building a platform. I cannot get my ass up here and talk about the shit I talk about and align myself or even entertain a man publicly that was not of the fucking cloth of what it is that I talk about. It, it, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And and. She really thought she ate that when she said what with morals and it. So now we really getting to it. So you you just think I'm I told but what, what did I tell you? I said they really think I'm evil. Mm. They feel like you be coming for women and just disrespecting women. That's what it is, probably. When I don't see you just coming out here cussing women out. If anything, you empower women. Like you legit be telling women the game about how men actually are. And you cussing out that bitch, she deserves it. I don't give a fuck. I said it, I'm a woman. The way she be going in, like this bitch said that I sucked this man's dick and he fucking gave me something in my throat. Wow. If that's not something. Y'all don't go take y'all funky asses over to nobody else's platform with the smoke like that. Like it goes out the window when it comes to people that's continuously fucking coming for him and now me. Where's all the morale when it comes to that? Like you're trying to say that I got some shit in my throat? What the fuck is that? How is that okay? People calling me dumb bitches and hoes. Why y'all not over there on those people pages telling them that they have no fucking morale? It's 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 the fucking cherry picking for me. They definitely the pick and choose when to be outraged. They definitely do. It's it's the it's the selective outrage for me. It really is. I'm sorry. That's I don't know. That's but, that's but wow. She moved they moved the goalposts. They really did. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Hi, Valentine TV. Hey y'all. Hey. Hey y'all. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. Listen, I have uh, I know uh the the hey love you. Hey. But um you know the one that's stopping you know. Mm-hmm. I don't 
You you going in and out? Hello. Okay, the one that's talking y'all. Mm-hmm. If y'all go to Danny, uh, I forgot the name, but she they have clips of her. I'm sorry, they have they have clips of her. Um, where she lies and makes up stories and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I heard that she be out here. I don't know what she got going on in these YouTube streets. Uh, that lies and stuff. Okay, yeah, we'll check it out. Thank you for calling okay. in. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, we'll definitely go check it. We'll, we'll check it out. I think I know what she's talking about, but yeah, I just I, I, I as I was listening to not that caller, but the other caller, I'm like, wow, no morals, no integrity, no value. Wow, that's crazy. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna bring up somebody. Are you okay with this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay, but y'all only got like two minutes, okay? Because there's other people that want to call in. All right, everybody that's waiting in the queue. What what's up? Oh my god, this come for me. You be gonna change your name to fuck I'm on one. I cannot. What what's yeah, up? yeah, you know, I had to change my name because I, I these motherfuckers I didn't cuss my 45 different motherfuckers out in the goddamn chat. Um but I wanted to say that but first I would like to thank you, Love Jones, and thank you too, Storm, because both of y'all have numerous numerous times allowed me to come on y'all platform to cuss a bitch out. And I'd like to thank y'all for that. <laughs> this is very this this is very therapeutic for me. Uh it was some chick in the comments named now that's TV or whatever the fuck her name is. Yeah, fuck you. But I would like to tell you this about this whole thing with femininity and stuff like that. So Love Jones, I've told you about what happened. You know, basically me and Storm had the same story, but his happened in his mid to the mid twenties, my happened in my my mid teens. Mm -hmm. I wanted to share a story about you know since we're on the topic because I saw that Norris has shared something, so I want to share this too. When I all that stuff came out about me, it was this one particular dude who, for some reason, was on my ass about it. Like he just would not stop. Me and him got to a big ass fight. Like I'm talking like a big ass fight. Mm -hmm. He just kept coming for me for some reason. It was a lot of people, but it, he he was like Burger King. He wasn't doing. He wasn't this crazy and try to steal. You know all that shit. Like he just storm like Burger King. But he just kept antagonizing. It's like every time I walked into a room, do you like men? Do you like men? And this dude, he was like a fit, like you said, a fifty cent or a little NBA young boy, a little little boosy. You like he wasn't one of those dudes you would expect. Make a long tour shut this whole time. Dude wanted to smash me, but yep. I kept denying him because, like I keep telling you, my voice, I hate it, but my voice is feminine. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I have a feminine ass voice, but I like coochie. I like pussy. I don't look. <laughs> I ate. I ate some pussy last week. And you oh, know. It, oh my god! <laughs> look, I I'm this. I like pussy. I'm sorry. I can't. With me, I just can't see my. I can't get hard for a dude. Like, I don't know how you find out that you're gay, but I, I get hard with pussy. I don't get hard with a dude. I don't. I'm sorry, but my dick just don't work like that. <laughs> and I can't, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I'm be, I'm telling people in the chat, like, and in, in the comments, you cannot force Storm to be gay if his dick does not work for a fucking man. That <laughs> is a clear sign that you're, if you're gay or straight or not. If you put a picture of a woman with some pussy and you like, God damn, that's some good ass pussy. I want to fuck that. And your dick gets hollow, solid as a rocket. Then you put a dude with some hairy ass legs <laughs> and some dick out and say, what? Well, God damn, I'm limp noodle. I ain't hard on this shit. You're not gay. But because of Storm, 
behavior on YouTube, his voice or whatever, they're going to assume that. But I'm going to sit here and tell you, Storm, you're not the only one that has to go to this because you can hear my voice. People swear to God that I was gay. They said, look, Storm, they said I fucked a married man when I was 15. You're not by yourself. Oh, wow. Wow. I, they they said I fucked. Storm, they said when I was, it started when I was 14, but it got worse. They said I fucked a married man. The man and the man was like a fam friend of my, my mom's who gave me a ride home because it was raining outside. They said that I went and fucked the man behind the dumpster. I sucked him off. He gave me a few dollars for going to quarantine to give me some candy. Like, I, it was so bad. Y'all, it was so bad. His wife came to my mama's house oh. questioning me about it, saying that was I being faithful to her husband. And I'm like, ma'am, I don't want your fuck ass husband. I don't, you know, he all right person. I thank you for giving me a ride home, but it's like, I don't want your husband. And it started a whole bunch of shit in that man's marriage because of lies they told. Because, and see, here to go the motherfucking in the comments. Here, I gotta go cuss somebody out in the comments. Who the fuck is this young Henry talking about some marmalade? Bitch, your mama sweet. You no. missed attempt. No. You missed opportunity for an abortion. Look, okay, okay. Don't do it. You only got like one more minute because we got other people in the queue. Okay, uh, but I would like to say you start keep your head up. Fuck these people. Look, if your dick don't get hard for a dude, your dick just don't get hard for a dude. They cannot force you to be gay. I don't know what the fuck they got going on or why they so hell bent. Or seeing you get dick down, or you dicking somebody down, or gobbling dick. I don't know what the fuck they got going on, but it is a blatant obsession. I don't know what the fuck that party city wig having ass bitch is obsessed over y'all for. It's, I don't know, but I'm gonna let y'all go before I have to, Thank somebody you. else say some shit and have to cut their ass out. All right, bye. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hi, Ty, Isha. Hey, y'all. What's, What's going on? Man, when great forces join together, you always have haters. You know flies like shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that it is. You guys are going to be a very great power couple, and that's what it is. You guys are going to have haters. And they can't be mad at you, Storm, because you got standards. Everybody don't want to... Everybody ain't meant to get hit, for real. Mm. <laughs> on everything. I'm serious. People have standards, and just because your shit don't stand up when you see certain people, that don't mean that you don't that you just don't want their ass shit. That's just <laughs> what it is. Motherfuckers need to sit down. And, and Taisha, if I, if I can be honest with you, and I think Love Jones is like this too. Like we can see I, someone of the opposite sex that's attractive, but they don't make you want to go fuck them. Straight like that. That part. Like. I got to get to know you. I got to talk to you. I got to actually like you, you know, like. I'm telling you, people don't understand that. I don't like people. I don't like having sex with people that I'm not in love with. I'm just like, I'm one of them type of people. So like, I understand that totally. It's just, I don't understand why do people really give a damn who's screwing who? Like, I don't it's think it's their business. Yeah, and I understand, like, people be like, oh, well, y'all putting yourself out there, like, yeah, but we're not, like, it's, I could say we straight up had a couple's page, and even still, like, why does it matter if I am with a man, and I am seemingly content with this person, and he's seemingly content with me, why try to come and, like, ruin that, or, like, make it, like, a negative thing? Now, if he's out here treating me like a piece of shit, and I'm crying in the motherfucking car, then that's one thing for y'all to be yeah. like, oh, you treat her like shit. She out here fucked up. Then now that's different. But nobody is having any issues. So I don't that's, get it. That's the main reason why. Because you guys don't have any issues. They want to make a problem out of nothing. That's the main reason why. Because you guys are getting along. Everything is going the way it's supposed to be going. So that's why people are hating. It's crazy. It's unfortunate. I, but I, I, just I, be I, happy. I, Both I you guys should be man. happy. I'm going to make them more mad. I think I'm going to go ahead and just step into my NLE chopper era. Oh, really? Yeah. Like motherfuckers that man. <laughs> that's what you do. Shit. That's you. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing something right. So both of you guys are doing the right thing. Don't let these people make you upset. Half of them don't got shit to do. 
but to sit back and watch you guys and complain. <laughs> true, true. So y'all keep doing what y'all do. I'm proud of both of you guys, and I wish y'all nothing but the best, okay? Thank, Thank you so much. Bye. You guys take care. You, you too. too. Okay. Um, Why would this person say Storm did hit Cynthia G, though? I give him that. See what I'm saying like that? But that's disrespectful when I clearly... Like... When I clearly already stated that that wasn't the truth. Why do people do like it? I think people just like to try to stir up shit and create controversy. And then they don't even say it like they think. They say it like it's a fact. It'd be they, that. Funny. They say it like it's a fact. They don't even say allegedly. Or I heard or I thought like, what the fuck? I don't know what's wrong with people. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. What's today? It's Friday night. Friday night. Yep, Friday night going into Saturday. Well, oh my God, it's two o'clock in the morning. Like, where do the storm? <laughs> where do the time be going? The time be flying. And then I be fucking falling asleep during the day. And then Me too. I'm at night. <laughs> be up like a vampire. Okay, I'm gonna um take another. You good? Uh, yeah, I'm good for, for one more, yeah. Okay. Hi, um, just the chick with glasses. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hey. I hope y'all are having a fantastic evening. We are, thank you. We are, thank you. Um, first of all, y'all are my favorites. Aww. I'm gonna tell you why. I am also Virgo, Love Jones. Yes. And my favorite person on the planet is a male Taurus. Someone. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my favorite person is a male Taurus. We've known each other for almost 30 years. I don't wow. know his whole birth chart. I don't know his whole natal chart, but he's my favorite person. I love the Virgo Taurus dynamic. Y'all are destined for fantastic things. And I just love to see it. I love to see the growth. Whatever happens, happens. Um, he and I are not together, but he will forever be my favorite person. He is fantastic. Just the greatest ever. And Tauruses are a little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Storm, you you a little bit, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I can, I can see that whole, like, you're going to be working day and night mm -hmm, and getting it together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But that's what we need. That's it, Virgo. Sometimes we need that little extra push for a Taurus. You know, they little bullheaded. They like to. We need that. We need that. But I appreciate it. Um, real quick, I know I only got two minutes. Um, I think the whole issue is is that the thing with storm sexuality it actually comes more from women because women would rather see him with a guy then know that they can't have him as a woman oh wow personally that's my personal thing i could be wrong but that's my personal thing i think they just women i think women sometimes just don't get him to a point they just rather be like oh he's got to be gay no he's just you are who you are storm you don't have a box like you said you don't have a box you can't put you in a box it is what it is it, but it, it, it is what it is and i feel like listen ladies you don't want me i'm short my nose wide you, I know, got you know what the mess up part is oh, storm. it's like you said storm i'm not being funny look i like short men I ain't got no problem. If you under five foot seven, it's okay with me. I don't care. I'm five foot three. What do I need somebody that's six foot three for? Order? I don't need you. I don't even want to look up that high. I don't care. I, that's that's why I have a step stool. I can get step stool and get my own stuff. I don't need all that. It was like, oh, I need to feel protected. What if he's a six foot three screamer? <laughs> I mean, that don't do any good. Anywho, I know, like I say, I know I got two minutes. But anyway. I don't have a problem with a short man. I like short men. It's cool. My dad is, is Storm, in all honesty, my dad is fair complected. I know you you said call yourself a dark skin king, but my dad is about the same complexion as you, and he's five foot six. I'm good with somebody that's short. It's all good. That's who I grew up around. It's fine with me. So, <laughs> is that wrong with that? And, and every man... <laughs> 
so the average is what five five eight five nine for me five nine in the u.s yeah that's yeah. the average i don't know where everybody think they go find all these six foot two dudes where i be trying to tell them, them it don't it don't really it's not a lot but they be, theoretically they be nice to them you don't understand oh, oh okay no no i understand look i live look i live in a small town look i live in a very small town in alabama <laughs> oddly enough women and men in the small town i'm in they're all super tall it's really weird <laughs> <laughs> I, but the, i understand genetics and da, 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 and all that kind of good stuff it don't matter to me personally i think you should just go with someone's their attributes their values and their morals and you two clearly have found what you need to find in each other however that needs to look I, i'm not like one of those people that's like oh it's gonna be forever it could be forever for now or it could be forever forever but whatever y'all found in each other is beautiful virgos and tauruses just in general such a beautiful combination i hope it all works out both for you but yes i do think that i honestly think that the women push that you get storm is from women who just don't want you to be with a woman because they want you and they actually theoretically in the back of their mind be like oh if he was gay it would make sense but it doesn't you're just a dude who does do stuff and sometimes to do stuff don't make sense to them like yeah you like you like different stuff and you're educated and you think deep and that's not what they used to they're not used to a dude that thinks deep and cares and does the things and has some sense <laughs> and don't want to get everybody pregnant because he got some sense because he like his money and he right. likes to keep it in his pocket and he would like to spend it on himself or whatever it is that he wants to spend it on and love jones you as a woman as a young lady, you have got it in your head. I don't need to be having um, kids by everyone. And I don't need to. Yeah, you know, I just, but it's okay to be like, date. Date who you want. Exactly. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. Enjoy it. My daughter is 26 and she's married. Blah, blah, blah. But I wanted her to go and experience and do all these things. But it's cool. She's married, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, I wish she had went and, like, traveled and did some other things first before she got married and had kids. But it's cool. For y'all, do that. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy life. Love it. Thank you, you so much. You, you got someone to do it. If, you, if this is the person that you want to do it with, do it with them have fun love it if it if it's a it's if it's a connection forever great however that connection needs to look forever it could be marriage it could be a friendship forever whatever it just enjoy it like Thank i said you. my favorite person on this planet he's a tourist he is my favorite person i would love to travel the world with him Oh, I would love it. I would love to just travel. But I know deep down in my heart, he and I, we will always have a connection. And and we talk every day. We're bestest friends. That's amazing. Bestest. We're the bestest. We're the best friends. But we, yeah, what we do have a great connection. I hope that that's something that uh, the connection is important. Like, uh, like, like she always says, Storm, you know who I'm talking about? Jaguar always says about connections. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She always talks about connections. That's what she means. That's what she's talking about. It's about building connections. So always have the connection. Always enjoy it. Always cherish it. I love that. Um, best to you both. And Thank yeah, I'm always going to be, I'm always going to be Thank watching y'all. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Okay, bye. Bye. Right. I mean, I...
I, I, just, I just, I love how, you know, she said, well, maybe they just feel more comfortable. My other, my other friend said that as well. Okay. You, but you know, like, I don't even look at myself like that. Like I'm, I'm just me. I just want to do my content, keep it moving. So I'm like, <laughs> Like, yeah, and don't be fucking like saying, "Oh, I ain't shit. I'm this and that, and I'm that." Like, get get the, get out of here with that because now I feel like you're insulting me because I think that you're cool. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Well, I'm, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to tell. I'm just trying to get them off my scent. Like, don't be attracted. No. Just... <laughs> <laughs> and I have good taste. I'm a good judge of character. Mm -mm. it's crazy because they 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 love to throw shots and shade and they, but really really just be i think they just be they be drawn to me and they mad and they like oh i hate this nigga <laughs> but i can't but i gotta see what he doing i'm like i was thinking the other day like damn do i have that like kardashian effect i mean love and hate lives on the same spectrum mm. they love you so much that they hate you I experienced that my whole damn life. And it's all good. Like, haters make you famous. I just, I don't like people with the, like, continuously saying shit like they know what the fuck they're talking about. That's annoying. And I know this live is going to, oh, my God, I could just imagine the videos and the shit people going to be saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. Like, yep, I windmilled for Storm. Oh, fucking well, bitches. Oh fucking well. Then I'd be like, damn, y'all don't want nobody to like it, it's like y'all they don't want me to have no friends, no connections, no nothing. Just that part, like, are they trying to like run me away from you? That's what it seems like. Cause with all of the, the comments, you know, it's like, do they want me to be like, all right, I'm never gonna talk to Storm anymore? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's what it's given, honestly. But that's not the case. So y'all just gonna have to build a bridge and get over it. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Kaisha. I'm so proud of you, Love Jones, for me calm on this live. They were trying it for sure. Girl, you know I be cussing like a dog in the street. I I I, I need to clap it up for myself. Yes, yes. I really didn't do it. And I let people talk, although I know somebody somewhere is going to spin a narrative. Like, oh, she was just not, if people didn't agree, like, no. I let, allow people to talk. And I really didn't, I, I police myself a lot. So y'all can say what y'all need to say. And it's all good. It's all good. We're blessed. We're highly favored. Period. And I feel good. I feel good about life. Me too. What you getting into tonight? Um. No, no, no! I'm, I'm not. Do, I'm not partying. I'm finna go work out and shit. Listen, listen to fucking YouTube. That's my night, pretty much. Y'all <laughs> see, I just be at the gym, minding my business. Now you be at the freak off at twenty four seven. At the motherfucking freak off. God damn it! <laughs> people, people just mad to see people happy and want to feel. Right. If y'all never talk since they unhappy, that's what it kind of seems like. Like people don't want. But a lot of people are really nice. Thank you, uh, Valentine TV. A lot of people are nice. And I do want to shout out to like the people that are supportive, you know, and you don't have to always agree. And I, and I keep trying to stress this. Like we don't always have to agree. You can have your opinions, but to be disrespectful, to call people out of their names, to continuously label someone as something that they've told you that they don't identify with, that's disrespectful, guys. No matter which way you want to turn the motherfucking key. If you want to say, oh, that's what I know, that's what I think because of this, this, and that, and the third, you wouldn't like it if somebody got up here and called you a fucking bull dagger all day and night and you continuously say, hey, I like men. They're like, oh, bitch, the way you got that hair, that pixie cut, bitch, you definitely <laughs> lick your ass. You wouldn't like that. You would be offended. Oh, bitch, the way you wear them baggy jeans, you definitely slap <laughs> on. Like, it's just disrespectful. Like, put yourself in a in a person's shoes. You know, be a little empathetic. Like, you could think what you want, but if somebody is saying, hey, this is not me, that's not how I live my life, be respectful. 
That's disrespectful. It really is. And it's like, don't be adding all the extra shit. Oh, she hitting him with a strap and she just do- like, what the fuck? Like, that was too wild. Like, she, I had to call her a funky bitch for that. Because why would you say that in my comment section? That's disrespectful. And then to call us transgender, like, <laughs> the fuck is happening out here? What is it giving? And they give me with that old storm. You ain't, um, you don't have no straight friends. I actually have plenty of straight friends. Do you, with real motherfucking jobs, you think I want to put them online so y'all can go stalk them? Hello? Fucking weirdo. Bitches act like they unalived themselves because of me. Like, uh, because of, I sat on oh, yeah. <laughs> The fuck? Would you... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Hey. Hey, it's, um, it's, well, the same okay, I'm a, it's not, I'm, it's, I'm not going to say anything about all the um, LGBTQ stuff or nothing like that. I ain't going to say nothing about that. But uh, what I want to touch on is that, um, and I got love for y'all both. It's love and peace. I so love and peace. But Storm, it's just, um, and I don't know if anybody ever said this to you, but Storm, when you be going off on women like you do, like, um, it's it's just dangerous because just putting that out to the world, that energy, a man so easily get in, you know what I'm saying? So negative with a woman. The same, same the stuff that you say, you be, you be going off, you be mean and disrespectful and i only heard um one person say something to you about that and be honest with you and it was uh some some white woman she was like a spiritual woman and she came up there and i was shocked i'm my jaw dropped because i'm like dang this is the first person that i ever heard be real with you like so honest and she and she said it in such a sweet way she was she was just like storm uh, she she talked about your talent. She talked about all your good things, and she only gave you one main criticism on the show. And she said that you know, I suggest for you to take it back when it comes to you going off on people. And she didn't say just women. She just said people in general, like the way you you know you be going off. You know you got a mouth, are you? You know you can really come down on somebody if you want to and hurt somebody just with your mouth. You know you lethal with your mouth. So I that's all I want to say. That's dangerous. And so so I have a question. So do you feel that other people that make the same kind of content that that's dangerous as well? Because I've been this way since day one. I, yes. I've actually calmed down a lot. So Yes, and, and that shows your growth because I know you care about your growth. You care about your spirituality. I know you care about yourself. You love yourself. So I know you care about those things. I didn't see you grow. I've been watching you for a while, so I didn't see you grow. But, you know, you know, you still be going off. And you admit it. You said boldly that you're toxic, which is, shoot, that's, that's a good thing because at least you know, you know. And you, like you said, you said you already cut it down, cut it back. As for other people that do it, if do I think it's a problem? Yes. And I have a platform as well. And me as a woman, I don't talk. I don't. I, that's a rule for myself. I don't. I do my best not to snap off on men or women or talk down on either. Um, which, you know, when you're trying to solve problems and it's, you know, people, when you bring up a problem, People are also you talking negative. No, I'm just addressing a problem. But when you start to get into people looks and kind, of, are you a dumb b? Uh, da, 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 like that right there, just that be too much. And but it, but, but why does nobody say that what that person did to provoke that response was doing too much? Because I didn't just say that out of nowhere. This, this is someone. This is someone that has been lying on me for four years. We're in 2024. This girl has been lying since 2020. The girl tried to say I murdered somebody at one point, but y'all don't see that. And I apologize. I'm, I'm coming in uh, late here, so I didn't even hear. I ain't hear none of that, y'all. So I apologize. I was. Um, I had just came in late, and I had wanted to just make a general statement. 
So I apologize, y'all. I don't know the situation going on. I can't speak on that. But I'm just speaking in general. Uh, when you be snapping off on people, that right there, you know, um, even with that, if you got a serious situation going on, there's other ways to handle it without being toxic. You know what I'm saying? You know. But I don't think that's toxic if someone is if you if you you can't come for me, th that's what thank you, Monica. I do not go off unprovoked. You can't come for me. And then I'm supposed to just like, oh, well, I'm going to take the higher. Why do y'all always want me to take the higher road? Well, I know you, I know you heard this saying before because I, I know you smart. So I know you heard this before that you cannot control what other people do. You can only control you, which also includes your karma because, yeah, they could do something to you, whatever. But they're going to get their karma, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But you, your reaction if you react toxic like them, then you could get, you know what I'm saying, get some karma on you now. Because you did, you acted like a monster like they did. So sometimes you got to take the higher route. And especially as a man. And the men have it the hardest. And I'm a, like, if we're being honest, because men always got to take a burden for the rest of us. Because y'all, we see y'all as the strongest. Y'all take y'all coat off and put it over that puddle so we can walk over it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all protect us who are considered to be weaker physically. You know what I'm saying? Y'all protect us and the children and the elderly. That's y'all role, which is a tough role. But that also includes protecting us from yourselves. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. That's all I want to say, y'all. Ain't nothing. But because um, I know y'all got to get back to the show. But um, it's all love, y'all. Ain't no hate. Much love to both of y'all. And I hope you have a great night. Same. You too. All right. All right. Oh, sorry. We not. Um, I didn't. Uh... Lord. <laughs> I mean. I didn't mean to bring up. I didn't know that was going to be the same person because we're not trying to double dip too much. My thing is, I don't think I'm toxic like that. Yeah, you don't really be cussing out people unprovoked or like people that just don't don't deserve it. Like, so I'm supposed to just so, take the shit pretty much. That's what they do, and I'm like, is it because? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. You honestly really did calm down a lot. You did. You did, and you. Tone check yourself a little bit sometimes when you want to really go the fuck off. That's like, what I'm saying. I really, I really do. And I've even a times I've been like, ah, oh, maybe not. And then you'd be like, all right, yeah, fuck that. And then we just move on. And you're also telling me all the time, like, hey, these motherfuckers does. Like, you don't respond. Like, I don't, you really don't respond to people a lot at all. Like, you really don't. I really don't and for the for the most for the most part. I, I really just let that shit ride and and I understand taking the higher road sometimes, but what you I do also, though, you do. I, I, I do. I do <laughs> he's be I kind of get true. But I also feel like sometimes you gotta fucking stand up for yourself. Cause if you don't never say nothing, a motherfucker would just keep doing worse and worse shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out, like, when do you be cussing women out? Like, I don't think you, maybe she's misconstruing, like, you reading celebrities. And even then, you don't really be, I don't know. Well, shit, the celebrity doctor coming back. I don't know what to tell y'all. I mean, yeah, shit, really but the thing, the thing, I mean, everybody in the chat is kind of saying the same thing, that they don't feel like you just be out here cussing women out. Like, I don't know. I, I really don't. Like. The last major person I cussed out, they tried to put a fucking rape case on me, so I can't cuss them out. Oh, got you coming here. You didn't call that lady out her name when she came up here before. No. They said she, now you want to change your name and play victim girl playing traffic. Oh, Lord. But you didn't cuss her out when she came up here with a different name. No. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't have brought her back up because we're not going to double dip. Like, you know. I mean, everybody has a perception. I feel like a lot of these people just watch 
every now and then they're not you notice know, it's like they really don't know what they're talking about yeah that part too because i'm like yeah. so can't you appreciate that nor appreciate that because they does they be like oh well you like she was like oh well you know you you know you got a lethal mouth and you that mouth is so, yeah i mean i know that that's i make money off that i i know Ashley said, I'm patient. I am. Even though they just be cussing out my subscribers. But <laughs> I am. I am. I, I, we're all, uh, like, we're people, too. I think that's what they don't get either, is that we're people. Sometimes it'd be hard to not tell people to shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, or to just drop people down. Like, we. that's something that you got to, it's a, it's an art to that, you know? Because we do love and appreciate the people that support us and that subscribe. Like, so you also want to kind of try to just not put people off so much. You know what I mean? Like, as long as you're not being blatantly disrespectful, like you just try to hear people out. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and listen, Hey, everybody's going to have their own opinions, you know, and, I'm not saying I'm innocent, but I mean, golly, you would think I was just, ooh, you would think I was just on, on, online being evil, like, fuck. And you don't be. Oh, I wish we was together so I could give you a hug. Oh. <laughs> I need a hug, too, not just for you, not just for you. <laughs> no, I, I get it, I get it. Because it's just... Cause the shit, the shit, you be like, damn, we really just be chilling. But you know what I feel at the end of the day, we got to be doing something right because they talking. That part, this this man was up in the comments saying, "Oh, Storm is a whole queen" or something like that. He said, he's saying just like you express your opinions, people have a right to their opinions about his sexuality. Okay, now opinions are one thing, Damien, but when they start saying shit like, yeah, you hit him with a strap, that's not an opinion. That's a lie that somebody And Damien, made. you, I remember seeing you specifically under the video where we were doing an apartment tour. It had nothing to do about sexuality or anything even remotely romantic. Thank so Thank why was that the right time and place for you to come up under my video expressing your thoughts and opinions about his sexuality and i i feel like i actually like have you been with him like what is it giving because with that has nothing to do with the price of tea in china i've never met that man a day in my life like we're talking about that now in this video but that video where we were apartment shopping why did you feel the need to come under that video and say anything like that because i know you're still up in the chat so we want to know Opinions aside, what you think aside, why did you choose that video to express that opinion? Because that's fucking bizarro to me. Like, what was it about that video? He said, when you make a public video, person can respond how they see fit. That's not really answering the question. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, yeah, yes, you can type whatever you want to type. It's our choice to delete your comment, block you. Like, we all got choice. We know that. But why that video? Because, like, if I was to look at that video and read the comments, the comments don't match the video. So, at all. Like, it really I was don't. Even, I was even thinking, like, damn, or these bots. Then I was like, damn, did somebody, like, send people over here to do this shit? I'm like, this it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't making sense. Because it don't make sense. And someone else was like, oh, it's probably bots. These are not bots. A lot of these are actual people. I, I clicked on some of their profiles. Like, it, these are people. It's not oh, shit. just all bots. Like, look, here you go. If you are secure in your sexuality, why do you care what people think? Oh, I'm very secure in it. Know that. But it's not about caring what people think. It's about why that video. See, nobody's been able to answer that question that I have. Answering the question why that particular video it just threw me off because i'm like of all the videos that one like there's literally a video of us laying in the fucking bed together and the comments ain't going crazy like this and the comments are not going crazy so that's what we saying like i i hate when a motherfucker try to gaslight you 
Like, I hate that shit. Oh, people could say what they want, but under a video of us looking at a fucking apartment. <laughs> like, what? What does this have to do with your sexuality? Like, what is going on? Like, I, you know, it just it threw us off. Like, why that particular video? It's nothing I'm about saying, this. This is not new. People have called Storm Gay for years. Fuck out of here. Bitch, who was you saying fuck out of here to? You're not going to come up in my comment section and be disrespectful. Keep it cute or go on mute. Like, where do these people think they could come in? What What is this? This is not a freedom of speech <laughs> comment section. Period. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't. Oh, this is what he said. He said, so nobody's going to tell her that Storm is rainbow flag. What does that have to do with it? What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. I think it's some people sending these folks over here to do that. You think so? Maybe. Because I've I've dealt with that before. I, I think I think I got I know I got some haters, but I think it's some people that's definitely I'm to- gone if you don't like my comments, block me. I will when I feel like it. If you say something else I don't like, I will. I mean the video was doing good. It got twenty six um thousand views. The, the gag is the 384 comments, and a lot of them is just talking about the DL and the rainbow flag. Like, I just, like, what? Almost 400 comments. That's bizarre. It's crazy that I have such an impact that a video that I'm barely even in <laughs> so on a channel that's not even mine. <laughs> Yo, I swear I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. I did not expect that. I got these niggas that mad. I mean, it's dope that the video is going up. This video probably will have over 30,000 views in a couple days. I just don't know why, how this provoked like this type of, uh, like, I don't know. This type of reaction. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was I was just I was lost for words. Like, wow, okay. It's crazy. It's so crazy. And people get me with that too. Like, oh well, if you secure about it, why are you even saying anything? Uh, cause you're telling a lie. Mm, that part. Cause you add no shit talking about I'm taking a fucking strap. <laughs> or that I'm what? running trains on Love Jones. Like you just lot like you just adding shit in. People are crazy. It's above the us being the inverse. Is that for me? Like, what the fuck? Is a Karen calling me dumb now, telling you to shut up, Ash? I, I don't fuck that bitch. I don't know who these people are. I, why am I so dumb? Like, what the fuck is the problem? Like, people are always saying I'm dumb and desperate. Like, what? Dumb how? Like, dumb how? They tried to. They tried to fucking say the video was fake because I was talking to the to the leasing agents. Like. Somebody said the video was fake. Um, um, yeah, that was yeah, that was old girl Tyler. That was fake. And he was talking to the leasing agents. He's not her realtor, like bitch. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just ridiculous. Even, even when they so called have these fucking exposés, I watch this shit. I'd be like, like what the fuck is this? I don't I th- like in the doing the documentaries, like what the yeah. hell? That's crazy. I know I keep saying one more, one more that I'm gonna I'm gonna get here. Okay. Hey Lachey. Oh, hey Lachey. Hey y'all. 
What's up? How y'all doing? Good. Good. I'm doing okay. I'm um man, my nerves bad. You know I love y'all, so my nerves is bad. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I'm sitting here like. Okay, so when Come For Me came up earlier and he ran down all the stuff that's been said, which I've, I've seen some of the stuff about um, when they was uh, attacking Storm back in the day. I've seen some of the stuff and then um, not all of the rumors and the lies. And it just was draining. Like, it's sad. And Storm, like, you have such a good heart and a kind spirit. It's just really bothering me. I'm like, and then I know closely guys that are Taurus and Virgo males that have a lot of the same traits, have a lot of the same, um, that are that are straight men. You know, and they have a lot of the same traits or may respond to when they provoke that way. (laughs) It could be a little almost come off a little toxic, depending on the words, if it's profanity. But that's not gay. The worst thing in the world is because I called the girl the dumb bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Like it can be it can be triggering, you know, like. For some people, I could see like some people like, you know, it could be triggering if you was like constantly called a dumb B, maybe by by your man in the past or a parent. It could be triggering, but they it's not like say you provoked, and then when somebody attacking you and you provoke, like, hey, that's the but I know a lot of people like that, so I don't see that as oh, you know, like such a problem. Cause we all got something about us that's not perfect. So maybe that's not the way to respond. Okay. Maybe he could be like, look, you unintelligent, stupid, idiotic. <laughs> Let me try it this way. Let me, try. okay. I'm trying to say it with, with no curse words. I feel that she is, um, mentally disturbed. Mm-hmm. I feel like she has never been loved or received affection, protection, security from anybody. <laughs> I feel that mm-hmm. I feel personally offended that someone who is, you know, not even 35 years old yet has such yellow eyes with oh, such dark circles around them that screams alcoholism or crack oh. <laughs> or bunk or heroin or whatever the fuck. I feel personally sad um, that she's mm-hmm. had such financial troubles and that her vagina was apparently so loose and so dry as to <laughs> think that she couldn't even sell it to pay $800 rent. And oh my God. I feel personally sorry for her ancestors that she has to get ghetto gagged. Oh God. By an old oh white God. slave master just to have somewhere to stay and have ceilings that still have popcorn ceilings on them. At least if you're gonna get ghetto gagged and rammed in every hole, um <clears throat> you you would think at least you'd be in a high rise or something i don't know but i mean with all you know she does get fucked every way but north you know she is able to afford cat food so i do give her that she makes her make sure that cat eats um but i i feel bad i i I feel bad for people that have to sit next to her with a you know stringy ass synthetic ass oh my god (laughs) Raggedy oh, oh said I said I wasn't gonna curse. Raggedy oh, wig, and I just want someone to just tell her to just shift it just a little bit and pull it down just a tad. Don't tag, don't say. And, and see, and see, it's it's nothing wrong with like and see dragging because he just clearly dragged her <laughs> and, intelligently. 
you know. And, you know, intelligent drag. That does not mean, that doesn't determine your sexuality because you you have a drag for someone. Or, you you know, that has nothing to do with who a person likes in bed. And people confuse. It's ridiculous to me. Like, this is YouTube. This is a sector. This is how people speak and talk. I don't get the, oh, his voice. His voice is actually deep. You know, Storm, your voice is not, it's not light. Oh, they, it's not. They, they said my voice was, was lighter than Love Jones in the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like your real. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. What? And that's another thing. The trick, it's just, oh, it's giving. Oh my God. Oh, this God. is ridiculous. And it's like the trans thing. The, and are the inner, the, um, what did they say? And yeah, no. That's when somebody looks like they, sh they the opposite sex. Like, oh, they look more like a male or than they do. You know, Sloan be saying that about a lot of people. And they be giving the kids hormones and stuff to make them look like that. But y'all don't give that at all. Uh, look, he's Storm this is why No. Like, Thanks for proving my point. What straight men sits on lines and gossips and reads women. All y'all dumb. You're dumb, bitch. This is his job. He gets paid to do this. Do you go over to fucking TMZ and tell Harvey to stop gossiping and looking into people's business? Like, what are we doing here? Do you go to the shade room and say, why are y'all talking about this? Do you go to the neighborhood talk and say, why are y'all posting about people? Like, stop being so fucking yeah. But it's right. with me. They don't want Like, me. what the fuck, bitch? That doesn't have nothing to do with nothing. That doesn't determine who you like in bed. <laughs> it's That's a job. It's entertainment. It's YouTube. It's exactly. Exactly. Now, now Joe Budden sits over there in Jersey with a bald head and a pot belly and house shoes and screams in the mic. Y'all you, 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 don't say nothing about him. With other men sitting right next to him doing it. That's a great point and a great point about how the men in Hollywood, how they'll put on a whole dress wig, makeup, lipstick. And then they'll come out of that and then they'll go to their wife and kid. You don't have, they don't have nothing to say about that. It's just like, or they'll They'll say like, oh, his mannerisms or no, 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 it's, it's not giving that to me. It's like y'all looking for stuff because somebody can speak away or then if you're doing it, especially he on YouTube, but when you like how we talking to him now, it's masculine. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. Talk. It's masculine. This is not giving. Yes. Oh my God. What the fuck? Like it's not giving that at all. <laughs> like no. Like, this is the real story. Like, this is masculine. Like, what is the problem? Now, when he do a show, that's different because that would be boring. That was a good, I, I hit uh, Miss Shaw Lab last night. That was hilarious when Storm would say, if you was to do a show in this voice, in this tone, we'll be sitting there like, about to fall asleep. Y'all would. Y'all be like, what the fuck? I'm trying to click off this shit. <laughs> That's like when a preacher get in a, and he doing his sermon and then he get into the in the end and he gets a like you can't just be calm like you can you could preach a sermon calm but like it's when you doing stuff and you present it and you have a lot of people watching you it's a way that you keep them into it and keep them interested in what you're doing and this is entertainment over here. This is entertainment. So and you, your voice and, might be different. Your what you might, and I love how you extra and you get up and you do it. Oh yes, my god! I'm not gonna stop being me. They not gonna knock me off my show. What? What? So somebody else can come take my place. You hoes can never take my fucking place. Go. F you know, but you know who else is a little different when they speak. I'm thinking in my head, Keith Lee. That's a good example right there. Oh yeah, he do speak with a twang mm -hmm. in his voice, like, and it's very kind of. Static, like, yeah, like I, I was about to try to mimic him. Let's pull up a Keith Lee video. <laughs> I and storm your show with, um, oh my god, I just be thanking God for you because you are hilarious. Your show, you, um, you covered, um, oh my god, Megan Good, new man. <laughs> the last one you did on him was so oh, hilarious, man. it cleared my sinuses out. <laughs> I was crying laughing. I was like, my stomach was hurting. I was like, I can't take this. I ain't gonna lie. I hope I don't ever run into that nigga in LA. <laughs> it be so 
song and I love the song. I'll be like, oh my God, you are hilarious. And that's another thing. A lot of a lot of it is jealousy. I don't even know if these folks believe yeah. this themselves. Because like I said, like you special and you're lovable and you're entertaining, funny, and hilarious. And it's a little bit deeper than what you're doing now. Like you have gifts. Yeah. And I feel that. And I, I've always said that. And I'm going to keep saying it. And it's, it's going to keep going and growing. And it's going to be books. And like even my son, like he'll hear your voice and he like he know who you are. Like he a tourist too. He know who you are. Oh. And he'll come, he'll come look. And he'll be like, that storm. Like it's just like you. And he'll light up. And then he'll go on by his business. And I'm like, you just, That's so it's something funny. about you. Love Jones too. Like you special too. It's mm -hmm. something about like the way y'all interact with people and you know communicate and then talk to, to us in the chat and how y'all host the shows like y'all have something and storm it's just like you got a gift it's both of y'all do but it's different love john's got a gift to speak to women and um Mom do too. Shit, that's why they mad. Yeah, that's so. But no, it's a different way. Like Love Jones, how you uh, alert the yeah, avoid this. You know, Storm do it too, but it's in a different way. Is y'all both have a gift? Like, it's Storm does it too. Like, cause he's a man, uh -huh. so it's even better. Like his experiences and stuff, and his take on things. It's, it's, it's a male perspective. <laughs> it'd be good and then yours both of y'all i'm just like Aww. this is awesome all right let me play this right quick okay it's, box. it's brunch from a place that just opened up six days ago here in vegas it's a brand new breakfast spot in southwest las vegas that just opened today serving creative takes on classics like lemon poppy and blueberry pancakes and even this churro okay. waffle and with more coming in less than 16 bucks Good as hell. <laughs> all right. Early birds is gonna be your new weekend meetup spot. It's got all your favorites. And I personally been looking for a new brush spot here in Vegas. So let's try it. I got it. Let's try it. It ready one to ten. He spent seventy seven dollars and fifteen cents. Mm -hmm. The customer service. Let me see. What's a nine out of ten? Said the customer. Even the way Keith Lee be holding his hands. If he wasn't married, what would people say about him? They they didn't already I'm pulled up videos. You know the name of him and his wife like, dancing to Nicki Minaj tried to call him gay. I'm just like, oh god. Yeah, because he'd be like, he used to twerk and like do TikTok dances. I see those videos. <laughs> we didn't realize it was, mm -hmm. there. It was two o'clock, so we got here at like one forty-five. But they still served us. So in my opinion, that's really good customer service. I'm gonna show you anything I got, and we're gonna try it. Get ready one to ten. Lemon poppy pancakes, a McGriddle, and an Irishman skillet. My stomach growling. You heard it? Mm -hmm. This is about to be messy. I can already tell. We're gonna start with the Irishman skillet. Usually, skillet. This is a Benedict. It's not a skillet. This is an English muffin with ground beef, hollandaise sauce, an over medium egg, a whole onion ring. That's what that is. That's a whole onion ring. Mm. So on my hands, my face, is it messy? Absolutely. Is it delicious? Absolutely. In my opinion, that's fire. It's seasoned perfectly. For me, I personally would take out the onion ring. I don't think the onion ring do nothing, but it also don't like. I could care less if it's burnt. Oh my god. You know what this tastes like? Mm. A Disney pancake. Or what I would imagine pancakes and like Disney. animated pancakes would taste like. That's fire. Is it super like do you melt or not? Mm-hmm. But he's very different though. He is. He's not like mm -hmm. the average, like normal i guess quote unquote normal black guy but i think it all has to do with where you're born how you're raised and i think also mm -hmm. people don't see other people from different parts of the country too much like now we do because of social media but everybody that we would usually see like on television or in entertainment even if they're from like the midwest they would go to new york or like harlem to get their swag and then they would get put out into the media you know what i mean or they would be in la right. Like it was just those three points. So everybody seemed to have the same type of swag. Like Chris Brown from Virginia, but he was in Harlem, like getting his, you know, uh artist development on, so to speak. Mm hmm Yeah, because Chris Brown is country as fuck. So is Trey Songs. But they was, you know, like his was shipped off the same way Usher kind of was, but you know, they wasn't with Diddy. But yeah. they was like it, 
Rihanna too. Rihanna came to New York City like to get her artist development and to like develop and suck up the culture and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I you heard know, Chris good. Brown talk about how his mom was like right with him when he was making um with the industry, you know, his mom was right there like mm. <laughs> that part. Yeah, like no. Yes, that saved him. Now you gotta be you can't just throw your kid well, they might not have knew no better back in the day. I'm gonna say too, if you feel like you love Jones, pull up that old video of Tupac. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. When he was like um in theater school. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't mean like it's so crazy. Like it's and then um Love Jones said different too, like how he taught Keith. It's like it's that's the thing, it's different. But uh, and but, but Keith Keith Lee is autistic like me. Okay, okay. You On the spectrum. Autism, you don't even know. I can't <laughs> I can't. What? Not autism, not like the whole, not even on the spectrum a little bit, probably a little. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> diagnosis, man. Jesus, yeah, I don't care what y'all say. I, I, I'm gonna claim it. <laughs> little on the spectrum, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I speak to women with this much respect. And I deplore that. My mother just told, I grew up, my mother raised me. So I have this much respect for women and I, and I fight often because of that. And it gives me a lot of friends. I mean, I, I get a lot of friends, because, but I also, I, I get a lot of friends because I have respect for women, ultra respect for women. But then like I, I, was, I was liking this girl in, in Tam and, um, and I'm extra nice, you know, extra gentleman. I'm extra just like, oh, you're beautiful and you deserve the best. And, she told me I was too nice. I couldn't believe it. We, we, it wouldn't work because I was too nice. That was the ultimate stab in the back. So I went through a week of just going, forget it. I'm just going to be like them. Because they seem to get the girls and they're, they're, they call girls the B word, you know, and they smack and beat and they are get, they're getting girls. And I'm going, peace, and I think you're beautiful. And, I'm, and they're going, well, I like him because he's masculine. I'm masculine. I mean... And with the guys, and, try, and like yesterday he was cursing, and I was like, don't curse. And he got mad at me because I told him not to curse. But what I'm, my plan is that if I keep telling girls not to let them call you these names, and I keep telling, if I keep saying it, it's going to catch on. Because the girls won't allow them to be their boyfriend, that they're going to speak to them like that. And they're going to want me. So in order to not get them to go with me, they're going to have to change, and that's how they change. So I'll be the scapegoat, no problem, as long as it changes. So... Yeah, you know, uh, so it, I think it's gonna work. I think it'll work out. Love that. To this, mm -hmm. the industry changed him, and he's also Just an actor. Also an actor. Y'all gotta people gotta keep that in mind too. Sometimes you yeah, play super intelligent. Super intelligent. Mean. Okay, it means it, I was named after this Inca chief from South America, whose name was Tupac Amaro, but it's a lot of people named Tupac Amaro. It's like a whole tribe named Tupac Amaro. So my mom named me after this Inca chief. And I think the tribal breakdown means like intelligent warrior, something like that. But I see. He's a deep dude. <laughs> he is, he is. If I go to South America, they're gonna love me, I'm telling you. It's like, you don't even wanna see me. They call this place Weirdo Beach. I don't know, it ain't that weird to me. <laughs> I, even him talking here, like he still is fucking deep and like mm -hmm. out is yeah, people cold switching is also entertainment. I, I don't think un people understand entertainment. That this is a good reference, Storm. Thank you. I, I think I'm gonna use that in a video too. And people and people also forget I was a theater kid as well. So us in the arts, different. we're different. Mm-hmm. And, and then it's normal to me. That part. It's normal to me. Like, I don't see nothing abnormal about that. Like, that is how we are supposed to speak. But if you don't speak that way, you're not. I mean, we just, we're all different. And then a lot of us are the same. Like, I don't. That doesn't. Do, just because somebody speaks that way, gay doesn't have a look. That's just. 
Gay don't like, have a look. I keep telling people gay don't at have a look. all. Like I've been so shot <laughs> with it lately. I'm like, oh please, no. <laughs> Them audios. I'm like, I didn't even want to click on the audio. I was like, please don't be. My spirit was so disturbed. I'm like, what is going on? Mm. No. But then it's like, don't let us hear audio about you like that. And then you making you still talking stuff to people and making this records like you can't have an audio like that and then be still talking stuff <laughs> <laughs> and beeping with us. Like I would be like, you don't make me play that audio. <laughs> I was tripping out like he's still talking stuff. Like, oh God. Yeah, I'm just I wish they stopped because it does and they just be so convinced. Some of them, some of them, I think, are, um, I don't know, like, then they switched it to buy. And then, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That, that was, that was, okay. What do you mean? Yeah, they want to switch it to buy. And I didn't even, I never, I never thought that because I ain't been the one to go off of entertainment. And like, like you said, we should be going off entertainment. We could be going off on people acting. And I saw it as that because I, I just saw it as that. I mean, just be okay. Well, he doing this and he doing it. Okay. And I have like silly uh, guys that, you know, growing up and they, you know, like close family or whatever. And they might like being silly and then they'll do a little twerk dance, you know, but not really twerking for real. But you know how the guys would like dance, like the girls would be silly. Totally love women, like too much. Yeah. Like player, player, player. And be silly like that. And then I think he was, um, one guy I'm thinking about, he was a tourist Gemini. My son is silly like that. He do that. And I'd be like, oh my God, like will you stop? Go sit down. He'll start cracking up. And but he loved girls. He love, he'd be like, he say you pretty too, love. He like, she pretty. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna say this too. I, I dare say there's a lot more black men like me, you know. Um, uh, mm -hmm. but they they choose to take on the nigger aesthetic. Like Tupac yeah. did. Yeah. And then he was, it's, it's, it's work. Cause if you catch him in an interview, like either he was like drunk or irritated, but if you catch him normal, like they got some late interviews after he just did a movie interviewing about his movie roles, just like that. Calm, cool, you know, he got the two sides. He'll tell you, I got two sides. I'm a Gemini. I got my amped up side. If somebody piss him off or provoke him, you're going to get a different person. He's Gemini too. So you're going to use getting a different person. And then he got that sweet side, that calm side. But he was, that was really him. But he's really political, you know. Oh. Yeah, that's really him. Political, actor. And artist. women loved him. Women loved him. Oh my God. Oh, Jay Jada yes. still talking about him. She can't stand. Like yes. five years later, literally, still can't get over. <laughs> yeah, can't get over him. Starting to look like him. That part, but thank he you was for so calling dope. Him. And you're welcome. And what I don't, what um, one thing about Pac, I still see every blue moon. People bring up that rape case, but I, Pac, one of like my favorite people. I didn't watch every. Thing I've seen every documentary, everything. He um that he got locked up for like touching her buttocks. It wasn't even rape on the dance floor, but she had gave him oral on the dance floor. But it was like a a setup, and then that's how he got locked up. But he was um never like he was in a room with her. But then he walked out the room, and then other guys came in the room, and whatever went down. But it was like a set because it's a picture of all of them on the bed. If you look it up, they was all cool, and um, the Haitian Jack and all of that. I didn't seen all the documentaries. That was the setup. So it's like, and I, it's like, it's so many. When you so special, I noticed like when somebody's special, they touch a lot of people. They give. They're kind hearted because he gave to a lot of people. And you're just doing a lot of good on earth and helping so many people out, or you touching people with your content or what you do. It's like the devil have a way of it's just so many people come at you and storm you going through it. And when you got a purpose and you driven, it's just so many people, it's just stay encouraged because 
it's a bigger picture. It's so many of us that rock with y'all and, you know, y'all brighten our days and make us laugh, smile or whatever. And when you have a purpose, it's they're going to send people your way. And you're going to hate. They're going to hate like they did it to Jesus. Same thing. Like it was so bad for him. Can you imagine? Lord. Can you imagine? That's what, like, when somebody hate on me, I'd be like, you know what? It it could be worse. You know, I'ma just keep on stepping, keep on talking, keep on supporting um good people. And I feel like y'all good people. And I had to take up one day too, because somebody was like, Storm, um, when he said something about the Bible, and they said the Baphomet Bible. Oh and I was like, what? I was like, what? I, I caught it. And it was a couple lines ago. And I was like, no. And I was like, why did you say that? And he was like, I'm just asking. And I said, no. I said, he's clearly said what his faith was if you was watching. I didn't say nothing. Right. He- right. Like, why would they say Baphomet? I didn't say nothing oh about that. No. Yeah. Right. It's, it'd be ridiculous. And I, you know, once I said that, you know, he, he didn't say nothing else. He was gone but i was just like this is ridiculous and it's clearly people not watching consistently i'm like if you watch them they might see some it's like they see the hate and then they come over for a minute yeah and because he was a nobody never been over before never said nothing before i see a lot of new names pop in and then they gone and it's like you're watching other channels but you don't even know me and get a chance to know me or watch my content or research me before you just come over here and pop something out your mouth (laughs) It's yeah, it's ridiculous. But I, I love y'all. Stay encouraged and oh, um thank you, boo. <laughs> y'all welcome. Have a good night. Y'all too. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye bye. You ready to, to get up off this? Yeah, th- but this was fun though. Like, thank you it for having fun. me on. Thank you for hitting the link because Jesus Christ, it was <laughs> People would have been loving to say that I just did this behind your back and I'm a terrible person because why would I do this type of content? And also, you know, I wanted to just let people actually come up and speak their, like, just hear what they had to say as to why they was doing that under that video, which nobody could really fucking say anything. Yeah, yeah. I We, we still didn't get our question answered. All they could say was, you a tranny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not your trend. <laughs> like, oh my god! Like, what, of all the rumors, I, and I'm like, I clearly look like a dude. You clearly look like a woman. Come on now. <laughs> That's wild. They just make up anything. Like, it's not okay. Oh, so maybe they slept together. So he ain't fully gay. Maybe he buy. And if he ain't buy, he definitely on a DL. And if it's not that, then she just a man. Fuck it. Like, <laughs> and he a woman. He a woman. Like she, you know, she fucking him. That's crazy. Yeah, that that dildo comment was wild. Style was like, was wild. Was fucking wild. Just disrespect. And, and you see how like they trying to come for me, but in coming for me, they disrespecting you, another black woman. Out of me, like it's so disrespectful to me. I, I just I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I really don't. Know. And I don't understand why people think that it's okay to continuously put something on you if you're saying that that's not the case. Like, why is that okay? It's rude. It's 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 rude. But you know, I I don't I don't trip off that shit because I already know what it is. Like, I'm special. I'm going places, and I'm successful. I'm only going to become more successful. I've fallen down many times and I always get myself back up and I know I'm fucking powerful and I'm not going nowhere. I know y'all want to get rid of me. I'm not going no motherfucking where. Well, why do people want to get rid of you? It would be so boring on YouTube if you wasn't here. If people didn't have you to talk about all day and night. (laughs) Because they think my subscribers going to come to them. (laughs) People would be so sad. Like, damn, my favorite person to hate is no longer here. (laughs) <laughs> what to do now? I'm not going no motherfucking where until I'm ready to retire off this shit. Y'all not running me off the internet. Y'all not gonna make me feel bad. You cannot stop what God has for me. Period. Yeah, like I came in this bitch. I didn't know where I came from. I made history. 
Yes. What the fuck can you say? Okay, you don't like me. Okay. That lady was trying to go hard, so you just be out here cussing women out like that, though. I'm like, what's going on? See, just lying. You know, you don't have no morals and no integrity and no. I was like, hold up. I tried to not like interject too much because you know you, you want to let you talk, but that was just. I, I, I she was doing too much. She was doing too much. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that's why I had to mute her at some point during the first time she she changed her name. I'm like, damn, bitches is like changing up their name and shit. Cause girl, why would you even come back? Like I, I just, I was so confused. Like I thought that was a whole other person. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But you know what? I fucking love myself. I, I, you should. You should. You good people love Jones. I'm glad we met. Me and too. you a fucking superstar. I'm a superstar. We for us to for us to make these people they 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 panties is fucking the issue. <laughs> Yo, I swear I didn't expect that. <laughs> like, but I mean, it's content, so it is what it is. I just didn't. I, I, I'm still like, oh shit! Like the views is going up on that little vlog. Like what? And Mercury Retrograde didn't want me to be able to edit it, but it happened. It it it, it happened when it was meant. You know, they fucking fake killing themselves. Like, oh wow. Well, oh, Jesus, that was a lot going on. <laughs> Oh my god, bitches is mad telling you, oh, you got a, a amazing body, but that ain't gonna get you a man. Like, bitch, what? What? <laughs> Why are you even saying that to me? Stranger danger. People are just so hateful and miserable, like a lot of people were saying in the comments. And misery, unfortunately, loves company. Like, they like, oh, you motherfuckers think they gonna have a nice time together? Fuck that. I'm about to tear it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say like he got her at a motel six. <laughs> <laughs> a motel. I wish the fuck I would. Ugh, my skin itches just thinking about that. <laughs> I just like these, these people. These people is crazy. But I'm a, I'm gonna say good night. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you for coming on. This was a vibe, even though it was a little intense. And you handled that shit really well. Because people was just dragging the fuck out of you. Like, what you said last night? They was 10. They tore you up. What you said? They tore me up. They tore me up. They tore me up. <laughs> they tore me up. Oh, my God. Yo, you are so resilient. And... It, I mean, you have a thicker skin now because you've been going through this for a few years, but I know it hasn't always been easy for people to just be talking so much shit about you continuously. So the fact that you still stand 10 toes, like that's some go to that shit. It's inspirational. Shit. You're helping me to armor up a little more. So thank you, Mr. Monroe. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good night. All right. Bye. All right, y'all. I love y'all. It has been a vibe. And um, thank y'all for rocking with me. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my motherfucking channel. It be lit over here. Shouts out to Mia. Shouts out to Lachey. Shouts out to Lisa, Kaisha. Come for me. Shouts out to my to Bree, D Squared, Ash. Y'all know y'all my motherfucking day ones. DH. Shouts out to you. Yes, I will absolutely see you on manana. Maybe we'll do a, a get ready with me. I might be. I don't know if I'm going out of town. Well, whatever it is that I'm doing, y'all already know I always take y'all with me wherever the fuck I go. So I'll absolutely see you on manana. Uh, show up as her, be her. Don't let nobody play your motherfucking face. Shouts out to you, Norris. Yes, Norris in a building. Take care. Yes, 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 yes. Um, especially about him putting his hands on a woman. Ooh, somebody said, yeah, when she was trying to compare him talking to 
putting your hands on a woman. That's why I'm like, oh, hold up. We're not about to do that. You can't compare someone saying words to actual physical violence. Like, we're not going to do that. I was not. Like, I was trying to just listen in and, you know, let him handle his own because he's a grown man. But I had to interject when it came to that because that was just going, that was too much. But, um, yeah, life is a moving star in it. World is a motherfucking stage and you at the center of it. I love y'all so much. Spread love is the Brooklyn way. <laughs> Later. Bye, uh, Chocolate Dip. Bye, Carolyn. See you all. Bye. Uh, later, Queen Pressure.